You got a couple weeks already planned out for you. Tonight we have a really special evening. I've gone through all kinds of old show flats, pulling out stuff we used to take to mineral shows, which haven't haven't seen the light of day probably in three or four years, maybe four or five years. And I see a lot of the old prices on there, and I'm like, wow, I think the prices have changed a lot <laughs> since then. So instead of going up on most of the stuff, I went down. Pricing. It seems like pricing across the board for the last three or four years is up now, but this is stock that we've got. It needs to find a new home. It's through, there's a bunch of really good stuff. Definitely on the more expensive side tonight, but not everything. There's plenty of stuff under 100 bucks, plenty of stuff between 100 and 300. We've got at least a couple dozen pieces in the 1500, 10,000 to 1500 range. So got some new Aho white that you haven't seen, and some jewelry, and I just had some really good Demortierite cut. Uh, this is a good, this is a good show. Here. This is the, this is a panty dropper, the whole thing. Except there's a little bit of filler because you got to take a break and all that, so I can't drop your panties every three seconds. So get the Kleenex and some more underoos. You're gonna need them. Last night was a lot of fun. Appreciate everybody coming out last night and knocking it out of the park. That was cool. Selling a bunch of rocks. I guess it helps when they're cheap. Woo! <laughs> so we're going to do that again. Uh, we are going to change the schedule up a little bit uh, from what I said last night. We uh, anticipate doing another 50% off show on Wednesday night. And I don't know how far we're going to get. I probably have three shows that I can do at 50% off still, uh, given the way things went last night. And so we're going to do one on Wednesday, and then I think we're going to do a more traditional show on Saturday or Sunday. No, not Sunday. Saturday next weekend. So Wednesday and Saturday we're going to do live shows, 7 or 8 o'clock, something like that. Make sure you look out for it. You're not supposed to be saving money. What are you talking about? You're supposed to be saving it for me. <laughs> yes, go ahead and save your money, Taylor. Go on. You can do it. Anyways, it's not my fault. The rocks are doing it. I'm just standing here. The rocks do all the work. I literally just stand in the way and do this with a pen and put some thingies on it. The rocks tell me what to do. That's been like that for a really long time. It's kind of weird to say that. It's like, what do you mean the rocks tell you what to do? Well, it's true. The rocks tell me what to do. I'm just like, what, you, what am I going to do? I'm going to put them out. I'm going to sell them. Sometimes I just don't I don't feel it. If I put it back for some reason, it doesn't matter. It could be the best rock in the world that everybody wants. But if I pick it up and it's like, uh, no. And I'm like, all right, you put it back. Put something else out. Sometimes I take some rubbish out. Like, no, I'm not going to sell this. I'm not going to show it. And the rock's are like, no, you're going to show me, damn it. And then they all go, <laughs> we sold, ah, I told you. So I try not to get my ego in my head in the way. It's just the rocks, they're doing their bidding. We're just here, you know, being their transporters. That's kind of how I look at it. It's kind of a funny way to go about looking at it. But I have literally built my whole business around it. And uh, in the last 15 or 20 years of our life, I have uh, really been focusing on the concept of uh, operating from the centrum in the brain instead of the amygdala. Uh, the amygdala is the ego center, the logic center, and the centrum is more of the intuitive divine connection center. And so I learned to read the signs more so than like push. And the signs don't lie. If you know how to open and you know how to look, 
and you know how to read the signs that spirit is giving you in the sur strange circumstances that don't really have any logical connection but if you can learn to read that and navigate that some pretty magical stuff happens and we definitely live in a world where logic and amygdala based egocentric behavior has been promoted and exploited and expected and it's hard to break out of that because that's what we're supposed to that's what we're taught we're supposed how we're supposed to be you have to excel like this and this 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 blah 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 you got to put your ego forward and it's just whatever you know that's fine for for anybody that's fine for everybody but there are other ways of being and we've been exploring that for a long time so so far so good um, probably going to end up going to Africa here in the next couple weeks definitely following the trails and the signs so you know sometimes that's what happens like oh I'm just going to Africa Wee! <laughs> just going to go put myself right there in the most dangerous place ever Yeehaw. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, Nidorito. Okay, that's enough talking. That's your pep talk for the day. That's all the stuff that's going on here. I did not sleep very much last night because I got all jacked up and amped up and drank too much coffee and all that stuff. All the mango quartz was sold. We don't have any more tonight, but I do have more mango quartz that I will prepare for the future. We're in the. We're actually in the middle of a cycle over. Uh, the last night's show. I, I think I made. I made. I did say it. I don't know if you were, if you heard it, but last night's show was. Uh, everything had been shown many times, and so after a year, of showing a bunch of stuff, I and mean, they weren't all shown for a year, but we did live shows for a year, and this is our almost our one year anniversary. That's coming up here in the next couple of weeks for doing live shows. And it was time to cycle over and be like, you know what? These rocks need to go and find a new place. And so we're going to blow them out. So we split the stock down the middle. We're going to blow it out. And we've got another three shows like that we can do. I think three or maybe four, depending on how you guys like the rocks. But So make sure you stick around and, you know, don't save any money. Like, what's her name? Taylor. Like, you know, like Taylor. Don't save any money like her. Just save it. Save it for Rusty and Nicole and, and, and the dog. <laughs> Look. Yogi, what are you doing, Yogi? What are you doing? Hi. What are you doing? <laughs> he sits like this all the time. He's begging. He's not begging for anything but attention. He wants his paws pet. Will we see Peter site? No, not tonight. Peter site will be Wednesday night, and that will be at half price. And I did, I did put some more Peter site together. Not for tonight. That will be for in the future. That will not be half price, but it will still be really good. And we'll go from there. So, yeah, Peter site. we're going to do Wednesday night. That'll be in the live. Uh, yay. Cool. So, I've talked a lot. Let's do some. Get rid of the get, get his face out of here. We eat the win. Oh, don't forget the pin your comment. Yeah, there you go. Okay, I'm going to get rid of my face. Sorry, Kayla. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to not uh, say anything here. Let me hold this in front of you. This is if you want to get our texts about the live shows and all this stuff. Send a text to this phone number. As far as tonight, uh, I'm going to quickly start out with some growth interference quartz that I, it's really cool that I don't think you've seen. And then there is a bunch of mineral specimens. There is Brandbergs and rare quartzes and some a bunch of nice tourmaline. And there's a group of fluorite that's really nice. And then there's some all kinds of stuff, man. Lots of mineral specimens tonight. And there's some carvings. Uh, yeah, that's... That's about it. I don't I don't know if there's too many cabochons. I have a little bit of cabochons tonight. Anyways, so that's the deal. There's that. What are we going to do now? Let's do the thingy. Let's do the thingy. I've got to raise this chair so I can sit up. All right. So, look, look as promised, we're going to start out with growth interference quartz from Russia, from Dalnogorsk, Russia. It's far eastern Russia. It's a, what you call it? Uh, the price range on the tourmalines, there's some that are 60, 80, 100, 120, and then I've got some that are going up to 800 and 1200 like that. I don't have too much between 200 and 600. And there's a few pieces, uh, there's a couple, there's a few pieces, but it's, it's so 60 to a couple thousand. How about that? Dalnagolsk, Russia, biggest boron mine in, well, I don't know if it's the biggest one, but it's a big boron mine. Yes, Svetlana is Russia. It is uh, your motherland. This is from Bor Quarry. It is very nice. You can see it is a good crystal. 
The Sagoda Crystal from Russia. This very close to China. Growth interference course. This is not the best example of the actual growth interference, but that's $25 there. It's pretty cool. It's a nice little wand. Growth interference is more like this, where you've got this weird ass quartz with these lines on it. It's like, what the, f what the heck's going on here? Look, and this termination, look, it looks like it's broken, but it's not. So what it did is it grew in competition with calcite. And the calcite was like, no, man, get your fucking atoms out of my way. My, it's my atoms. No, we're not 50% off tonight, dear. I'm sorry. That's not, that's not happening tonight. The, tonight is all new stock that nobody's seen, so we're going to go with it. Yeah, we might have some discounts and all that. So, so the quartz is like, damn it, calcite, get out of the way. And the calcite's like, no, damn it, you get out of the way. And then they fight for space, and then they stop growing. And then when they, fi they find them, they've got all this... They've got all this calcite that's covering it, and then you burn off the calcite with acid. Who oh, knew no, acid? Yes, it's not a bad pro. It's not a problem. And then you've got this beautiful quartz lift that's got all these crazy lines on it. And these really clear ones are not quite as common. It's more milky from this stuff. What do I text to the number for notifications? I don't know what you text. Just be like, damn it, send me a message. <laughs> Acid man, oh come on, you're not Taylor Baked tonight, you're Taylor tripping balls. Oh, just kidding. So that's $40 there. I'm sorry, tonight's not 50% off. <laughs> I'm gonna be confused. You texted hi, and apparently that's not enough to get the notifications. Oh, did you hear that, Nick? It's all Nick's fault. We can blame Nick. Nick, fix the problem. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know anything about that system. All I do is this. This is my job. I'm not the marketer. I do this. Look, here, read it. That's good. That's all I can do. And that's all I can tell you. The rest of it is up to you. So this is like a plate that's all stuck together. And you can see it's all complete and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Little remnants of shit going on there. These, these things are really awesome. They, they do find them periodically. And it's just a weird, weird quartz. From it's, it's a boron mine. Big, one of the biggest boron mines it is. Boron is industrial industrial mineral that's used for things, stuff and things. So look, this is like a crystal that was growing here, and this one's got lots of growth interference. Yes, it's shit remnants, except it's pretty. It's shit remnants. Yes, you can see it. There's all growthy. It's all growthy like that. See, look, it's weird. First time I had this, I'm like, what the hell's wrong with these terminations? Oh, this, no, they're not terminations, but they are terminations. It's just weird. It's growth interference quartz. There you go. So this one's 85. It's a big fat one right there. It's nice and heavy. Yes, it's so cool. And we're going to show you one tray's worth of this. And then we'll move on. See here, look, you can see the, the, all the calcite lines and then it's gone. And then it, but it burned it off. It's got all the quartz. That's what she said. I don't even know what you're talking about. You're talking shit. Talking shit! I don't have the same energy tonight that I did last night. I can tell you that. I did not sleep enough. It's all your fault. Every one of you. No, I'm just kidding. It's all my fault for drinking too much coffee. I might have to do it again then, and then I won't sleep again. And be like, damn it, Rusty, what are you doing? Okay, look, this is a, this is a totally awesome one because the termination is still, in, is still there. It didn't compete with the termination. It just wrapped around it like that. It's a super, super weird one. Yeah, it's so amazing we're doing divinatory readings. Amplified energy. Yes, that's what that's what she said. It's good. Amplified energy, all that. This is a killer. This one is killer. That might be the best one in the box. There. It's growth interference quartz. Where have you been? I've been talking about it for five minutes. No, I'm just kidding. It's growth interference quartz. Also, no, it doesn't have another name. It's called Growth Interference Quartz from Bohr Quarry in Dalnagolsk, Russia. And it's the more, look, it's got this, uh, like, cross hatchings on it on the top. You see that? Look at that. That's what makes it so weird. It's almost like a meteorite or something. It's weird. It's definitely not like any other quartz you've ever seen. It does weird shit because of this competition with calcite. Calcite loses, but it messes it up a lot, you know. The quartz gets all, all rickety. Trying to get your text to work, damn it. I know, right? That's not my fault. <laughs> I didn't do it. Don't blame me. Blame the marketing guy. <laughs> He'll probably join the live, but it'll be some funny name that'll make you laugh. 
Nitsa Vita. 17, 33 for us, Nitsa Vita. It's very good. Starting, off the par starting the party. Thank you, dear. We are starting the party. It looks like lipstick. Yes, that one doesn't. But that one she did. It, it, it's, it's white lipstick. Okay, look, is that. That one is 55. 55. Oh, yes. Oh, man, that one's really good. That one's crazy, nice and clear. It's got all the growthy interference thingies going on. Yeah, they've got really special energy about them. They do some really fancy things and all that stuff. It's really good for your metaphysical prowess and all of that. That one there is $60. Oh, this nice, pretty quartz crystal. Quartz or crystal? Yes, yeah, a lipstick that will make your lips bleed. Mm. Very, very possible. If you're, if you're nice, I will prove it. <laughs> you know, just kidding. Don't make me prove nothing. Okay, Doc, this one, look at this. This one is so crazy. You can see this is all this, where this termination did all this weird shit. And it's like, Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? You got the calcite. Get out of the way. Calcite, what do you think you're doing? No, oh, it's my place. Ah, we're going to fight over it. Every molecule, one at a time, we're going to have a fight. Really cool. That's what's happening here. That's what's going on. Okay. Okay, here we go. That one there is $50. $50. Oh, my gosh. You. You. Uh, bother. Here's another one. It's kind of knobby. No, there's not calcite. The calcite was burned away with acid, and the only thing that left is quartz. They grew in the same place, and they, they fought each other for space. The calcite was just little bits and lines and and stuff, and then when you find it, it's all ugly and craggly, and then you burn it off, and it's like, oh, this is kind of cool. Look at this weirdo, it's got all this druzy quartz on it. It's like a layer of druzy, oh, is it druzy? No, it's like sparkly though, you can see it. Look at all these little elestulation thingies going on. And it's bent also. And it's got some lines here for the growth inference and it's bent, it's just like, damn it calcite, what are you doing? You're breaking me, I'm gonna have to turn this way. And that's what it did, and it turned, and then it turned, and then it turned, and it did all this stuff, that's great. It's some really weird quartz. Not your every average day, every day average quartz here. It's some growth interference quartz. It's geek. You want some geek? G I Q. Hoo hoo. Yeah, you what? All right, we're almost done with the growth interference quartz. You guys, we're warming you up so that you can see it. You can be like, oh, I don't want any of these. They're so ugly. Look at this one. It's got chloride. That's green chloride. These used to be worth a fortune. I don't know why somebody marketed the shit out of the green ones really good, like 15 years ago, and everybody wanted them. It was crazy. It was just like, I don't know why they were, they, they, they got a premium. But here you go. I've, I bought these in like 2005 or something. It's like some of the last ones, maybe 2006 or seven. I can't remember. It's too fucking long ago. You know, we're getting old. It's like once it's older than a decade long, it's like, I don't know anymore. Can't even remember. Okay, here's a little one for somebody who wants a little one, you know. Here's a little one. Look, it's got the chloride. This one is a little one, a little growth interference court. So it's like a little cutie. It's like a little knob. That one there is $20. Hain Moss claim 40. I assume you want, that's the one. Claim 40 on that, right? Pain Morse, that one there, 1739. If I'm wrong, let me know, because there was another 40 one before that. There was that one also. So if I got the wrong one, let me know, and we'll switch it out for you. So that one there is $20. I forgot my, you even reminded me, I forgot the pin. Here, okay. Let me do the pin, hold on. Uh, to claim, okay, thank you, KJ. To claim, use the skew. And be nice. <laughs> okay, we make it like this. Uh, pins a comment on the donkey. <laughs> Watch out, dog. You're in the way. 
Okay. We got room for two more. Two more. Then we move on. This is Growth Interference Courts from Dolnogorsk, Russia. Dolnogorsk. That's a funny word. Dolnogorsk. Yeah, it's almost all the way to Japan. It's so far east. It's like really close to Japan, actually. It's like way the fuck out there. Man, this is a cool one. Anyways, where's the price on this one? So that one is $50. $50. There you go. And we've got room for one more. We'll do a little, another little one. This one with the claw. That one doesn't have any growth interference on it. Here, let's do this one. We call this, we used to call these alligators. They got little beta type quarters on it where it's like a scepter within the middle. It just did this blobby thingy in the middle and then it kept going and all of that. This is a weirdo. It's a weirdo court. That's what it is. All right, Vanna, you ready? Nicole Vanna. You ready to take it away? Mm -hmm. Go flip some letters. Flip us some letters, Vanna. Just kidding. All right, she's taking it away now. Take it away. Take it away. Just take it away. Okay, okay. Enough of that. That was just a warm up to get you excited about nothing. <laughs> it worked. I can tell. Everybody has their hands in their pockets. <laughs> this was the goal: is to get you to take your hands out of pockets. It didn't work. <laughs> okay, Doc. This time we will do this uh, big fat Herkimer diamond. Like this. This one is doubly terminated. You can see it. Let's show you the rainbows. Oh man, look at all the rainbows. Look at all the rainbows. It's a herkimer Herkimer I've ever seen. It's got like a smoky yellowish color. It's doubly terminated. See, there's a termination there. And there's a termination there. Yes, another live. Where were you? I told yesterday. Everybody, I was going tonight with a high-end show. You must have missed it. Oh, that's right. You went to sleep. You went to sleep. That's what happens when you stay up all night. Shinex cheese. Okay, $95. Since everybody was so excited about those cheap Herkimers last night, we're going to make it $80. But I'm sorry, it's not half price. Just woke up, man. Oh, my God. Well, at least it's 8 o'clock in the morning. So you slept all day, like 20 hours. You're crazy. That, that lady's crazy. She sleeps forever. No, she doesn't. She doesn't sleep at all. And then she sleeps like three days. That's good. Welcome, Paula. You're nice and rested. That means you can buy it all. That's good. No, you're just kidding. You buy what you want, though. Yes. Look, this is Dioptes underneath the courts with Shatterkite. Shat in your Pantakite. Yes, that's what we did. Look, there's Shatterkite balls over here, and this is all quartz here, and this is Druzy quartz with the dioptes layer underneath it. This is from Kokoveld from the late 2000s. And 110, we're going to make this one $85. 85 Citrine claimed. What, you mean this? That's not, I wouldn't call it citrine technically. It's iron stained, but it's not claimed. And it's, what did I say? I can't remember now. $80? F I forgot. $80, yeah, something like that. Already forgot. This is the problem. I need coffee. Will, will you get my coffee? It's over on that table over there. I think you ate it. No, no, I didn't. I saved it. Anyways, what I said here? This one, $85. Sheesh. Sheesh. Shish kebabs. We don't have any other citrine. There is one special citrine tonight. One very good one. From a special locality. Okay. Here's another Herkimer diamond. With lots of rainbows. You can see them all. You can't because there's stupid things in the way. It's called glare, Rusty. That's what it's called. It's glare. But there's rainbows everywhere. The whole face. All of it. Big fat rainbows. There's more. Some crazy ones. Look, this thing is loaded with rainbows. It's ridiculous. Is what it is. There's a big fat Herkimer diamond with the rainbowiest rainbows you've ever seen. That one is marked 118. Well, we're going to take $90 tonight. $90.90. Very good. Very good. 
And this, this one is, uh, this is uh, diopetes in uh, calcite with brochantite, I believe. Little bits of brochantite, the dark green is brochantite or malachite. I guess it could be malachite, but it's elongated. It's probably brochantite. So diopetes inside of quartz, not calcite. Uh, I know I said calcite. And with brochantite, diopetes, quartz, and brochantite. And that is from the Cockerveld as well, and it is originally marked 200, and tonight we're going to take 150 on that. 150. Don't buy it all at the same time. All right, it's $2. No, just kidding. It's not. It's not $2. Okay, this is really cool. Where's my light? So this is, uh, what you call it, um... Uh, mangano calcite and it does this crazy thing so it's pink and pinkish under this light right and then it's like reddish under that light and then it's orange under that light there's a U two different uvs so we got pink yes the blues and the teals and the greens are the best oh man they really mess me up because i love them so much so look we got pink we got red or hot pink and we got orange that's the short wave regular long wave short wave regular long wave short wave okay Mine is only on the first orange right now you get the point what do you mean it's so laggy oh man so nicole's lagging like a full minute well 30 seconds it's maybe oh see she's now she's talking shit about me no i'm just kidding <laughs> she's talking shit anyways Love that's got awesome colors but it sounds like there's some crazy lagging tonight going on so we'll see how it goes so this is from the Kalahari manganese field. This is $125. That's a pretty damn good price for that because it glows in three different colors. But we'll do 111. We could do it. Special price for you, 111. Let me know when there's a lag. Yeah, you probably will. You're like, damn it, Rusty, there's a lag. What's happening? What are we going to do? Oh, good. Fine on your end. Okay, here's a Brandberg. So a lot of these, like I said, they had prices on them from when I used to do shows, exhibitions and whatnot. So some of the prices on here, are just exhibition prices. I have adjusted quite a bit of the exhibition prices and we are now getting into some really good shit. Lots of really unusual stuff. So this is Brandberg hematite in quartz with some stuff in there. Nice matrix piece, 200 was the original price. That was the show price from like four or five years ago. Typically things will be going up in price since then, but we're going down in price. So we're going to ask $120 on this. It's got nice hematite going on in there. There's some prenite maybe, I don't know. No, maybe, yes, maybe there's some prenite. Anyways, that's 120 there. What are we gonna get into next? let's do uh, let's do this okay this one this one is pretty crazy this is a rose quartz crystal axonite no we don't have it i don't even know if i have axonite so look this is rose quartz the whole thing even this big fat termination here look crystal terminated rose quartz but massive and but you missed the skew number on which one the brandberg here yeah, i don't i only got one message from you shinix that said but i missed the skew number so i don't know if you've claimed the brandberg there or not the gabuba said yeah nicole doesn't either so if you made another if you made a, a claim you know yell and scream and all that stuff so anyways this is a huge big fat rose quartz look at all the rosy quartzy things going on and i can tell you the camera picks it up in the most shitty way you could imagine it's so much more pink then the camera will show you. Maybe it's better like that. Okay, it's, it's a bit more pink. I wonder if it's a UV. It probably does not UV. No, it doesn't UV, but it's cool. That's a little better. That's probably a little bit more accurate. The light actually like takes away the pink into the camera. So anyways, I had 800 and something on that one. And this one is $650. It's a big rose quartz. It's not just a little cluster of rose quartz. There's a big terminated rose quartz here. It's one of the biggest rose quartz terminations I've seen in a little bit. 
So that one's six hundred and fifty dollars. Six hundred and fifty. I told you tonight it was going to be a high-end show. It's going to be the opposite of last night. You know, you're going to there are going to be lots of lucky loos, and maybe maybe one or two of you will will bite the bullet and be like, "Damn it, Rusty! What did you do? You took all my money!" But like, look at this good rock that you've got. So this is a tourmaline from Russia, from the mother Russia. You can see it is a twin. And it has got terminations here. Broke until June 14th. Oh my God. And it's a, it's a tabular twin from Russia. It is like a, maybe lead the no, Shinex, I'm not getting any of your claims. Spell them out, and don't worry, there's not a lot of competition. I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> Spell it out. Be like, two T-W-O-F-O-U-R, Brandberg, damn it. All that stuff. Do it like that. So anyways, this, I had 1,200 on this at the last few shows that I exhibited at. It's a nice tourmaline here, good size and all that. Nice twinning. 90, Herkimer, got you. Okay, which one was the 90? <laughs> that one was 111, this one was 90. Okay, this one, the yellowy one, right? 27.25 for 90, we'll do it. We'll do it. Is that it? I believe so. We've got to wait for this lag. She should probably probably confirm that, make sure that I got the right one. Pretty, pretty sure that's the one. Anyways, so this used to be 1,200. Oh, she said no, no, no. You mean the other one? The other one was 111. Oh, did I say 90 on that? 118. Oh, I did. I said 90 on that. Probably said less on that one. Okay, got it. Sorry. Yes. Okay. 90, 90. I don't remember. You got to keep. You got to remind me. It's good. Just don't remind me wrong, because I'll go back and watch the tape. <laughs> Anyways, twelve hundred dollars. But it's now down to nine hundred for this nice Russian tourmaline. It is a from a mother Russia. It is very good. Okay, we got some little tourmalines now. Some fucking amazing little tourmalines. These things are so cool. I can't believe how cool these are. So these tourmalines I'm about to show you, they are a little bit dark, but they've got crazy good shit going on inside. These are from Namibia, which has got some really good tourmalines. So... They're, these are indica lights. You've got to backlight them to really get the light to shine and to show, to get the color. So we're doing that. This is from the Inchwaben mine in Karabib district in the Namibia. And this one is marked as $100. Oh, there's another here. 3623 for a nice little crystal. Oh, hello! Yes, yeah, spin stitch. Hello on that. So, there, that one's 23, and this one is number 20. And look, so this is purple, purple tourmaline. Let me show you. You've got to backlight it, remember? Look, come on, damn it, stand in the right place. So, it's in Dicolite, true in Dicolite. Goes from a dark blue to a purple to a to a black and you know what I need to do I need to use this stupid light here this will be much easier I've got to make sure I don't blind myself there that would be a fucking problem so you can see you have to light it pretty good but it's purple on the top it's got a purple cap nice and bluish indica light going on there I'm going to break a stone over there if I'm not careful okay there that one there's a hundred dollars Three six two zero. Nice termination here going on. Nice little size crystal. Okay, what's this? We got this. This is a aquamarine from a Brazil. It's got a hole, little hole going down up in there. See, it goes all the way down in there. Little hole. Thirty six twenty for Auto Biscuit. Auto Biscuit Trisket Ritz. Thank you, Otto. That's a good one. I love that. I'm glad you got that. Ought to be a Trisket. Ought to be a Nabisco cookie. Anyways, Aquamarine from Brazil. It's pretty cool. It's got etchings going on. It's got some tubes in there with some growth and all that shit. It's neat. It's got some weird, uh, like, melted sort of termination going on. And there's $50. 3621. $50. Yeah, that's my 
Yes, that one was 100. Thank you, Otto. We've got more of these. There's two, four, six. It's like eight more. B Pranic, 36.21. Thank you, B Pranic. Here you go. B Pranic for $50. Okay, next is another really awesome, crazy indica light. Let me get the light out. This 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 light is a pain in the ass, but this light is much better. Okay, so there you go. Like I say, you got to backlight it a good bit, but it's really amazing indica light. It looks like this. It looks like that. Very nicely terminated. Very well saturated. Got to make sure I don't blind myself or I'm gonna get pissed. That one there is $80. $80, 3625. And the next one has got the crazy purple going on. Look at it, it's a little squat one. A squatty, but look at this. Fucking purple tourmaline. You got to be shitting me, and it's clear. It's clear it's clear there's clarity in there. You probably cut a stone, but it would be too it'd be too dark to cut a stone. But it's still awesome. Look at this. It's purple tourmaline. How many times have you seen true purple tourmaline? This is true indicolite. Amazing, amazing, amazing. From Caribbean Namibia. And this one is also $80. 3624. But it is not from Russia, it is from Namibia. Right, we're gonna switch it up to this type. I only got one of these tonight. This one is also from Namibia. Let's see if we get my like, special light out going on here. This one's got like two or three colors. It's got blue and green and pink. Kind of zoned all funny. Look, you got you could see there's like a layer of pink in the termination up in there. Here's what the termination looks like. It's what it, you know, it still shows it pretty good. It's not as dark as the other ones. But it's a neat, neat little tourmaline. And that one. And now, this the tourmaline is at $95 for this. Not a bad price for a good, a big, nice, a chunky tourmaline. Good for mega jewelry. For mega jewelry. $36.12. $95. Okay, what's next? Here's a couple. Here's another purple one. I don't see that one. You don't see what? Oh, I thought you had a claim. Oh. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Nicole, what did you eat for dinner? <laughs> Fruit Loops. Did you eat Fruit Loops mm -hmm. because you go you lost your cookies? Okay, look, it's a purple tourmaline. This one's sort of tabular. It's got this thingy going on in the back. Spin Stitch, I did not see your claim. Instagram is being a bitch tonight, so use some emojis first and then put the price and the number or something like that. Not the numbers first because Instagram is a dick tonight. Then obviously they're giving people hassle. So, yes, you got to find another way, but fortunately tonight we don't have like tons of competition with like five people jumping on everything like we did last night. Don't know why I wrote Ahoyt instead of June. This one is a 120. This is the largest one that I have available right now. Uh, I have a small bag of them, but they're all pretty much this size. They don't. I don't really have anything bigger than this one. This one's the largest one. This one's like six grams or something. So again, purple, purple tourmaline. Yes, it is purple tourmaline. This one is another one from Namibia. This one's been polished. This was going to end up being a bead, which would be pretty cool. We should drill a hole in it and just make it into a necklace. It's polished on all the sides, like this. That is how I received it. It was polished. Uh, it doesn't come through this time. My guide's fine. But no, that's not okay, man. We've got all the good stuff we're showing you tonight. You got to push. You got to you got to push. Sometimes you got to fight it. You can't just say that it, you know. Oh, since it's 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 your spirit guides, it's actually Mark Zuckerberg. He's fucking you in the ass. Oh, sorry, did I say it out loud? He's sorry. Yeah, you know, he's he's giving you problems. Uh, it's Mark Zuckerberg. Yes, he's it's that's the problem. If if you give up, then you've let him win, and you can't do that. You can't give up, and you can't let Mark Stupidberg win because if you do, then you'll never win. You will always lose. So you have to fight the algorithm. Okay, here's another one. 
This one is a Russian from the mother Russia. It's a tourmaline. It is a nice rubellite. This one is a doubly terminated. You can see like this and like this is a terminated. Don't, don't give up spin stitch. Don't put your numbers first. Put your numbers after emojis and things like this. Or you can send me a private message and we will look for it. Maybe not during the show, though. that's the problem. So this is a nice Russian tourmaline here. It's about three fingers in width or two and a half and all that stuff. Doubly terminated. Pretty awesome piece. About yay big. I uh, should probably show you the colour a little bit. Uh, I didn't show it with the light. But it's nice, you know, you can see it. Oh, look at that. What's going on there? That's a little bit of purple also. It's mm. like a different kind of purple. That's pretty cool. Yes, it's mostly pink. I don't really, I don't see that purplish colour with my eyeballs as much as the phone. But anyway, it's nice. It's a nice one. And it is $300 on that. $38.45. It's not bad. It's like a 20 grand piece. It's good. Okay, Nicole, not yet. I got room for two little more ones here. Let's do these two. Okay, two more blue ones. Bluish purple. Look, there's the termination. Oh, this one's so cool. This is so special. Look at this craziness. This, that's that's indicolite, man. Holy shit, that's indicolite. Amazing. It is amazing. It is incredible. And this one is $60. Nicely terminated. Yes, yeah, a Jolly Rancher. It is. It's a Jolly Rancher. Spin stitch, what happened? Did you disappear? You gave up? Come on, man. Don't do it. You can just scream and be like, oh, no. Emily says, I see, I can see Emily's claim. It's 36.15. Thank you, dear. Yeah, Emily the Faye there. So here's another one in that small range. This one is really, really good. Very purple, this one. I'm nervous. <laughs> Don't be nervous, man. It's not, it's, it's just rocks. T they'll take care of you. Don't worry. There's your termination there going on. And this is a nice blue, purple, purple capped tourmaline. Okay. That one there, $60. I'm nervous. What are you nervous about? You're scary, dude. I'm me? I'm, I'm <laughs> not scary. Kidding. Nicole called me scary. Hey, <laughs> just kidding. you're not. She's not. She's being a bitch. Oh, no, I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm going to throw chocolate. She's going to throw it. That's okay. Throw it right in my mouth. Chocolate. In your ear. Hey, hey, hey. Don't chocolate my ear. Hey, quit it. I'm trying, I'm trying to sell here. What are you doing? Okay. Here's a nice green one. Can I see 36.25 again? Yes, of course, dear. Nito Vito, don't encourage her. What are you doing? Don't lay. Don't laugh at her. Hold on. Okay, so this one. I'll get to your question here in a second. Much too much too many. 36, 8, 17. Oh my God. You're just looking for excuses. 36, 25. Here. That's 36, 25. Three blocked claims feels significant. Wow. Oh man. Instagram can suck it. We're going to have to switch over to Facebook. Sometimes it's better. I don't think people have shadow banning going on on Facebook lives. But you guys aren't my friend. You're not my friend on Facebook. Some of you might be. But it's weird. Some people, they come to Instagram and they claim and then they, 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 they finish and follow up. And then they go, to, they go to Facebook. They don't use Facebook and they make a claim and then they disappear. And it's just like, damn it, what am I going to do if I don't have your Instagram? It's like you don't answer your messages. Anyways, that one. Feels significant that Instagram blows. That's right. So there's eighty dollars. Yes, don't let Instagram dictate what you do. That, like I said, that means you lost and and Stupidberg won. He's just trying to make money off of me. Okay, look at this. This has got some Mercedes Benz termination. Seventy-five. Yes, we'll do it. Spin stitch. Thirty-two. 
36, 25, 75, good. I'm assuming that's a claim and I can put it over there. So look at this one, it's so cool, check it out. It's got the Mercedes Benz here zoning on like this, and then check this one. Check, oh, wow. check this, no, look at the inside. It's that's green crazy. with a crazy blue cap, and it's got like black, purplish black in the middle. It's a really weird, really weird one, look at this. It's super weird. I got it, Spin Stitch. I got it. Thanks for spelling it out. I can see it. Okay, so this one, thirty-six nineteen for seventy-five dollars. Nice and jimmy on the inside. Blue cap, nice and green. Weird ass termination, seventy-five dollars. I did see your claim. Congratulations for not giving up. <laughs> yes, yes. We can't, it's not like, you know, last night we sold every single piece we showed practically because we were giving it all for cheap and it was crazy. And tonight it's like everybody's got to be reserved and stuff because, they, you know, it's more expensive stuff. Look at this one. This is just stupid. Look at this. This is facet grade. You can probably cut a stone out of that. It's got uh, kind of a buggered up termination. But look at this. Oh man, this is just fucking crazy. I love this piece. What a weird style of tourmaline. Anyways, I dropped my little, I dropped my little tag. Oh, okay, here we go. There, there's 3618. Before I blow my gas budget for next trip. Yes, don't blow your gas budget. Sell it all, Rusty. Thank you. Awesome, appreciate it. 75 on that. 3618. Okay, Vanna, take it away, Hi. dear. Be careful. Be careful, it's tourmaline. Tourmaline loves me. Yes, it does. That's why it might stick to you and fall. Okie dokie. Don't blow your gas budget for your trip. I spent $90 on gas yesterday. Well, you're in California. That doesn't surprise me. Man, I spent 70 and I'm in North Carolina and I don't, and I was in, that was in the car. I don't even have a big tank. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? $70 in the East Coast. It's a racket, man. I went down to South Carolina to get some supplies. It's supposed to be 10 to 30 cents cheaper in South Carolina. Every year, all the time, it's at least 10 cents cheaper. And I waited till I got there and it's the same fucking price. And I was like, this is bullshit. <laughs> I know that there's a problem here because it's got, it's always cheaper. Bullshit. It's bullshit. So this is not tourmaline. This is azurite from Morocco. It's a pretty cool crystal with a nice termination. Got some other Azure Oh no, that's next week. I don't think that's tonight. This is the only Azurite from tonight. It's a neat one. It's not an expensive one. It's cheap. Let's see if it shines light. It's probably got light shining. Oh shit, I shouldn't do this. If I do that, I'm going to raise the price. Yes. So you can see it's Jemmy Azurite around the edges. I don't know why price is so cheap because I feel like you guys need to have some cheap rocks too. I got this all this expensive shit and you know, sometimes I got to throw some Throw a bone in there. $35 on that. 3622 for Jemmy Ass Moroccan Tourmaline. I mean, Moroccan Tourmaline. It's a Moroccan Azurite. I think it's Morocco. It might not be. Maybe it's Sumer, but I'm screwing myself and it should be like $200. And instead, it's $35. But there you go. B Pronic 32. There you got it. $35 there for B Pronic. For B Chronic. Okay, B Chronic. Thank you. Changing your name now to be chronic. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four. Four shark's teeth, big fat ones. These have been polished. These are from uh, South Carolina. Megalodon, or no, is it, are they megalodons? I don't know if they're megalodons. It's nice though, it's been polished, but it's really good. This one here, you can see it. Good use for jewelry. That one there is $50, 50. Awesome. Yeah, be, be, be chronic. That's a good beast. You're going to love it. I promise. I promise you're going to love it. Okie dokie. Oh, it's not a Meg. Yeah, I know. It's not. I was just waiting for you to tell me that because you're from down there. Pain Moss 306707. Yes, Pain Moss 3607. Thank you. Okay, this is the only one that I've got that's a pendant. Look. I can get you a Meg tooth. I know, I've got some big Meg tooths also. 
It's they're pretty easy to get. But I'm sure you've got some good connects down there. Down there in Greensboro, no cack like me. Faking it. You must you're from New York. I know you got them neat of it though. You you come down here, you do city slickers, come down here, you think you can take over. <laughs> Now, he's probably born and raised here. Like, man, we talking about Nito Vito. Anyways, we got here. It's a shock's tooth. I don't even know what fucking kind it is. Nito Vito can tell you. It's a shock's tooth. It's been polished. I know you find them yourself. That's great. You probably get them cheaper that way, you know. But you have a, you have a face down an alligator? I bet you have. That's some scary shit. So that's worth a fortune right there. Okay, $45. It's pendant. That one you can... It's sterling silver. I'm pretty sure. I think... I don't know. It might be stamped. I got that like 12 years ago. These things I had sitting in a box forever. Here's another one. A little bit bigger. It's not a mag. It's a, it's a peg. It's a peg. It's a pegmatite quartz crystal tooth. It was polished by ancient people a uh, hundred million years ago. This is an ancient artifact and it came out of a museum from like the Tartarian uh, ancient giant. This is, a, this is a Tartarian tooth. This is a human tooth when humans were like uh, 35 feet tall, you know. Yeah, this is a big fucking tooth, you know. You better watch out. They're going to bite you. Don't listen to me. I'm full of shit. That says $77. That's a bigger one. It's a lot bigger than that first one. Seventy-seven dollars. It's a, it's one of those shark tooth from Tartaria and stuff. You know, I don't even know. I'm just talking shit now. What do you know? Okay, last one. We got this one here. Look at this. It's beautiful. It's incredible. It's a tooth. It's been polished. You can put it in jewelry. All that stuff. Sixty-eight dollars. What do you know? $68. Oh, my God. Okay, dokie. There, we are finished with all the teeth. There ain't no more teeth tonight. All right, what do we got here? I got three gem I don't know. I can't call this gem silica. It's chrysocolla in quartz. Really unusual, crazy things. It's quartz and malachite. This is from the Arizona deposits. Probably from Ray uh, Inspiration Mine or something. So it's gem. I can't call it gem silica because gem silica is the when the chrysocolla is like infused in the chalcedony and not like in layers and all this craggly shit. So it's chrysocolla, silicated chrysocolla, which is not as common as regular chrysocolla. Yeah, it's got all the malachite. It's got to be Inspiration Mine. You see this nice little malachite there? It's $11,000. Just kidding, it's not eleven thousand dollars. It's eleven thousand yen, which was a hundred bucks we took it to Japan, and now we got seventy-five bucks on it, so we came down twenty-five percent on that. It's from Ray Mine or Inspiration Mine, probably Inspiration Mine. You know, everything from there is worth gold. But we're trying to be reasonable here. Here's another one. It's just like a conglomeration. It's all silicated. We stuck it in there. We put a bunch of glue. We had a big glue party. We glued it all together. No, I'm just kidding. The nature grew. Nature glued it. Grew it. Nature grew it and glued it herself. You can blame nature. It's all her fault for making this crazy thing. And somebody polished it so that it looked good. This one's a hundred bucks. That one. That one was marked a hundred and sixty. Now we got one hundred bucks. We coming down, down, down. Okay, one more, and then we move on to some more mineral specimens. So that's, the, that's the biggest one. We're going up in size. We're going up in price at the same time. Malachite. Here, we'll show you this. I should have done that with the other ones. See, malachite there. You can see the chrysocolla. Malachite, chrysocolla. That's pretty cool. And the old price was $230, and the new price is $125. $125, that's basically half price, almost. $115, I guess, would have been half price. So it's good. Did I bring? Yes, I have Achoite pendants. There is many pendants. Nah, I don't know many. There is a few pendants. Ooh, my light is all hot now. What are you doing? Okay, what are we going to do? So, our Hawaii pendants. Let's finish this tray here, and then we'll move on. This is some uh, some more of the expensive tourmaline. This one's one of these one of these clusters of tourmalines. This is from Pedanera Mine in Brazil. 
It's so cool. It's got little quartz crystals all over it. It's nice and terminated. I turned the light off. I should have left it on. Blue cap, nice green color, very aesthetic. Stands up on its own, like in the perfect angle. You can see it stands up like that. It's pretty cool. It's all, it's, you can see it displays this way. It displays that way. It displays however you want. It's got quartz crystals on it there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I didn't glue them on there. I promise they grew that way. So I had, when I was doing shows, this one had $2,300 on it. And I marked it down to $1,600. This is a tourmaline mineral specimen. 1600 from Pedanera. Pedernera. Okay, somebody might know what this is. Most of you probably won't. This is rare as hen's teeth. There was only one find of this on Matrix. This is something special. Oh, there's a quartz on there too, look. So this is foetite tourmaline. That's the first time they had identified foetite. It was with this find, I'm pretty sure. It was a new type of tourmaline at the time. Foetite, yes, foetite. And this is Jeremejevite. Very good, it's Jeremejevite right there. You can see it. Like this. And the price, this one is $350. $350. That was like a one-time pocket find where they, thought they found those uh, Matrix pieces a bunch of years ago. Maybe it was more than once, but it was not, not recent. Okay, here's another rarity. This is orange quartz from Dalnogorsk, second Sovietsky mine. This one is a, also a really old piece. This is a really cool thing that was all dredged in with some shit up in there, and they cleaned it all out and got it all looking fancy. Orange quartz from Dalnogorsk, Russia. Look at that. That's some pretty stuff. These things are famous. When I bought this, it had a sticker on it of $800, and I bought it like... 12 years ago or something like that tonight they put 400 on it 400 for your piece of famous quartz from russia that everybody wants a piece it's pretty awesome super different it's a really weird piece from double double nagobersk okay last piece of the box Somebody asked for purple yesterday, so I had to bring some purple. This kind of displays in a couple of different ways. This is some, this is some shit. Oh yes, that's the old price here. It was a twelve hundred and fifty dollars. That's what we used to have on it. We're doing a huge, huge discount on it tonight. The old show price from five years ago was twelve hundred and fifty dollars. From this nice, this is super, super nice, clean jemmy crystal. Couple of record keepers there. Anyways, we marked that one way down. We put that one at 500. Cling, cling. Okay, that box is finished. How's everybody doing? very quiet in here but i understand i'm not giving shit away tonight so everybody's like oh god what do i do and it's 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 the scary price range what, what are we gonna do put your hands back in your pocket no you gotta do what you gotta do if you gotta put your hands in your pocket you put your hands in your pocket show some restraint but if you're gonna stick around and watch you should at least talk some shit thank you chai me yes we got some good pieces here like i said this is my high-end show for for the next you know few hours I can show the first one again the first what you're talking about this the teardrop teardrop wood oh this one this one Seventy-five on that. Silicated chrysocolla three six oh nine. 
Okay, let's see what we got to show you next. We've got some good mix. There's a lot of pieces here that were in my first collection that I'm going to show you. I see your claim, Kaylee Mary Designs. Thank you, dear. We got you on that. Kaylee Mary. So this next piece is coming out of my collection, the first quartz collection that we put together. This is polished on this face. This is Brookite. It's Brookite and Golden Rutile. You want to put in there, but it's too much. Ah, what's it need to be? I mean, like 1,600. I will just make it 1,300. That's a thousand dollars off what I had before on it. Thirteen hundred. We can do it. I don't know if that's good or not. So this is from Pakistan. This is twenty-five thousand. No, I'm just kidding. It was twenty-five thousand yen. I took part of my collection over to Japan and sold some pieces and whatnot. This one is pretty awesome. It's polished on the sides. There's some chlorite on the top, and it's brookite with golden rutile. You can see the brookite in the middle there. Brookite and the golden root heel is coming off the brookite. So cool. Do it, do it, do it, she said. Do it, do it, do it. This one used to be 230, 230, and now it's a 200. That's what I put it at. If you love it, then you can have it. From my collection to yours, pretty awesome little piece. Probably cost me $50 just to polish it. I'm going to put that up here. Here's another one. This one came out of the collection. This is a super crazy good cathedral quartz. I told you guys I was going to show you the panty dropper stuff. Not the not the free half price special stuff. Yeah, look, 28,000 there. That was the original price. We, we marked it down a little bit, like I said. And look, there's all complete on the bottom there. Perfect cathedral quartz is very difficult to get now. They want crazy prices for it. It's not easy to get. It's a really good one. That one there is 200. The growth is very strange. They call it cathedral quartz where it's all these parallel growths here where they're all like growing in the same line and it does this like thing at the top where it's just a bunch of terminations. Kind of like a cathedral, you know. Aptly named. 200 on that, 3657. Okay, let's see. Here's a really nice gemmy ass rhodochrosite from the Kalahari manganese field. These things are stupidly famous now. Everybody wants one of these. This is from Hoshatel. What is purple? I missed it. This is amethyst. Yes, we are definitely bringing out Ahuite. Uh, Charm Stars, this is Brad, this is a Gaborbaseb Brandberg on Matrix with awesome color. And we the old show price was 1200 on that. We put 500 on it. I'm going to take 400 on it. Down to 400 on the purple guy. That's really purple. Anyways, so, yes, we got, uh, what's it called? Rhodochrosite. Any opal today? Um, there's, the only opal is uh, in, a, in, a, in a jar of water from uh, Virgin Valley, Nevada. It's more of a specimen. So there's no opal cabs or rough or anything tonight. Um, yeah, but I do have that kind of stuff I can show you privately if you need to see it. Anyways, so Kalahari, this rhodochrosite is the most, some of the most sought after in the world. Here's the old price. You can see it. It was 1500 I marked it down to 1000 Crazy little rhodos. And now we've got a couple of carvings that we I carved, sent the roof to Thailand a bunch of years ago. It was probably 10 years ago. This was my show price. This is an octopus made out of really, really nice lapis lazuli. You can see the quality is very good. The detail is pretty incredible. I don't even know why I put 450 on it. It should be more than that. I actually marked it down 
from that when I made my little sticker we put 350 on it and I can pretty much guarantee that's what I paid for it any dioptase and quartz combos uh, there's some dioptase tonight there's a few with quartz I don't know how good they are and I, sp I showed two of them already did you, did you miss those you might have missed those Yes, so 350, pretty much the cost of carving plus the roof. This is a crazy octopus going on here, $350. Can't really fuck up on that. When I tell you it's what I paid for it, it's pretty close. I can't remember exactly, it was 10 years ago, but there's a lot. That kind of, that type of lapis is not cheap. That's like the good shit. This is a Namibian tourmaline, carved birds. Can see nice carving. Two little birds, yay! Yeah, it's a cutie, cutie little thing, and it is four fifty on that for the little birds of tourmaline. 4.50, yay. And what we got here? This is a little fish, that's the old price. Tourmaline fish. I think we're gonna even lower the price of what I got on it. I put 350 on it, I'm gonna do 300 on the fish. This is also Namibian tourmaline. There's the skew. We'll make that one 300. 3661. Are the blue green calves granted here? Right. No, these are. Uh, this is. Silicated chrysocolla from the Inspiration Mine in Arizona. I can't call it gem silica because it's not infused in the Chalcedony, Chalcedony, whatever however you say it. Um, but it's really cool. It's a conglomerate inside of silica, which is pretty interesting. That one's a hundred bucks. The other one is one twenty-five. All right. Next, 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 next. Here's another one of these. Another one of these blue thingies. Here's a nice big blue fish. Top quality lapis with it in a blue fish. That's the old price there. The old show price. And I marked it down a little bit to $290. A big blue lapis fish. Amazing. The lapis piece of roof probably cost a hundred dollars just on its own. All right, one more carving here, and then we got some more specimeny thingies to show you. Maybe I should mix it up. There's more. There's some cheaper stuff in this box coming here too. We're gonna to mix it up a little bit. We got some really interesting quartzes and some fluorites. So this is a snail, carved snail out of sphalerite from Spain. Spain? No, from Colombia. This sphalerite from Colombia. Look at the color here. This is some crazy shit. I'll tell you what. Here's a snail. Here's his face. It's like, hey, let me walk across your yard. Don't step on me. Don't let me get dry, okay? Because I'm sphalerite and it's all good. Oh, 600, that was the old price. That's, you know, where are you ever going to find a, a sphalerite carving? I don't even know if anybody does that anymore. It's like, what are you doing here? So that's 500. 500 bucks for this sphalerite snail for somebody who loves the snail. Look at this color. Oh, my God, it's so good. Hey, Vanna, come, come take it away. Okay. Come take it away, Vanna. Oh, so colorful. So pretty. Yes, tonight is all about color. Whew. The octopus was 350. 350 on the octopus. Wait, 350 or 380? 
Oh, that says 380, not 350. Can't even read my own, my own writing. 380, that's what, pretty much what I paid for it. Probably paid 325 for it, and that was 10 years ago. That lapis is so good, literally, the piece of roof to buy, just to carve that piece of roof was 150 bucks. 380, sorry about that. I can't fucking read my own handwriting. I need to get glasses or something. <laughs> need to zoom in here. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Okay, anybody need to see anything else again? Me, please. BBNLV. 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 Okay, mommy, here. Quit your stretching. She, you got a sale. What? You got a sale. She's doing yoga. She's like, quit. She quit work on me. It's like, damn it, Rusty. We did. We had such a hot. It was so hard last night. Tonight, it's really slow. I'm just going to stop. Going to stop working. Because and I'm going to. It's 380, dear. I'm sorry about that. It's 380. I hope that's okay. <clears throat> like I said, I, ha I probably paid 325 to have it made 10 years ago, which means they probably can't make it for that price today. Oh, here's another sticker. That's an old sticker. So this one is another little cluster from Afghanistan. This is from Paprak. It is nice and aesthetic. It is standing up on its own. A little pink. This is tourmaline. Pink with the, uh, what you call it, with the blue cap. This one, old price, was 1800 These These little aesthetic cluster thingies. They get expensive little fuckers. So 1200 we put on it. I think 1000 is okay. If you love it, you can take it. You can take it. Take it or leave it. <clears throat> the camera's washing that out really bad. It's way more pink than that. Let me see. Yeah, let's see. Nah, it's not. This light, this light doesn't like it. Let's see. Yeah, let's do this. Here's a yellow light. That doesn't really do much. Anyways, there's a thousand bucks, okay? On that tourmaline. It's definitely more pink than it shows. Here's a really nice Russian tourmaline. This is super good. Super good. Got this nice weird termination going on. That's the old price. The old show price. This one stands up on its own. It was 1200 I marked it down to... If I can pick it up. 888. 888. For this awesome, awesome Russian tourmaline. With the really cool Mercedes-Benz termination. Pretty Jimmy. There you go, 888. I told you tonight was going to be a high-end show. What can I say? Everybody's bored. They're like, damn it, Rusty, what are we doing? You're killing us. You're killing us, Rusty? Okay, I've never shown this. This has never been for sale. This is a blue topaz crystal. You can see the termination and the shape. This is from an alluvial deposit, so it like rolled around in, in the water, but it still kept the shape. This is the nice flat bottom there. And this termination with this, you know, there's your typical topaz shape here. This is from Nigeria. I bought this in Hong Kong about seven years ago. And it's a pretty nice, cool, natural, natural blue color. It's a little bit more blue than the camera is showing. And that one is two hundred and fifty dollars. That's pretty damn good for a nice blue topaz. It's beautiful. That one sat to my display case for a number of years. Three sixty six 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 sixty six. Two fifty on that. This one. Also part of the first collection. This is rudelated quartz from Brazil which is just loaded with petroleum and red rutile and other rutile. Here, let's, let's zoom in on this. All that yellowy looking, blobby looking stuff is, is petroleum. I'm gonna show you the UV reaction here in a second. All kinds of hairs going on up in there. It is polished all the way around. You can see a really, really 
really cool crystal. And also UV reaction, just a little bit, but it does react. Big, big blobs of oil there, little blobs. Anyways. So this one came out of my first collection of quartz crystals that sat on the mantle for a while. And I bought this in Springfield, Massachusetts mineral show in like, God, I don't even remember, 2006 or something like that. And the price here is $150, 3667. It is a Brazilian quartz, a very good with the oil. That's a good, a cheaper price. Very good. From the correction, they rest in the car. Mm. Then the car. Okay, we had a few of these that we showed a few days ago, a couple of weeks ago. I don't remember. This is Pakistani oil quartz with the little thingies going on. You can see it. UV reaction. This is a doubly terminated floating crystal with some shit in there and there's a little moving bubble you can see the bubble if you're looking very carefully there might be more than one there might be more than one and it does that under shortwave and this one these are so awesome 70 dollars on that cutie cutie patootie If, if I'm not speaking your claims, it means that you've got your hands in your pockets. And if you're trying to claim it, I don't speak it. That means that Instagram is shadow banning you and you need to speak up and be like, my claim, it didn't go through. Please try to repeat it. Because I will definitely say, I see your claim. I'm pretty good at that. But I know, I know. Tonight's show is very different. It's very different than last night. Here's another one, little floater. These came out of the collection. We had these for a while, little cuties. It's just like stacked all on top of one another. Yes, you did, you got a nice one. This is the rest of them. There was like a little group and I found some more. That's a little cutie. This one is $45 on that. Yes, it is cutie. I've got five of these. There's five of them. I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna force you to look at five of them. You're gonna be like, "Damn it, Rusty, what are you doing? You're forcing me. Quit forcing me." What's cool about these is that they're three-dimensional clusters. This is the normal size. They do not come. I see you, BBNLV for Topaz. Uh, Sean Atwood, I see for three six six nine. There's Sean Atwood, BBNL. This is BBNLV on the topaz. Uh, Emily, they don't really. They do get a little bigger in clusters, but the single crystals. Like I asked him one time, I was like, I want a an inch and a half crystal with a big water bubble in it. Blah blah blah. And my my buddy over there just laughed. He's like, that doesn't exist. What are you talking about? There's no inch and a half crystal. That's like clear. They may they find big ones that are ugly. Thank you, Sean. I see you. I appreciate it. But this is cool because it's clustery and it's just like a nice little aesthetic group. If these were from Herkimer, these would be like a billion dollars. <laughs> like seriously. Yes, that is a tourmaline up top. I will show that to you again. We have quite a number of tourmalines that we've shown on the show already. We had some really nice purple and indicolites that were shown about 30 minutes ago. So that one's 60 bucks. Here's the Russian tourmaline. Really nice single, good jemmy, nice uh, Mercedes-Benz style termination, uh, probably representing liticotite. This was my old show price when it was on display many, many years ago. The price tonight is 888. I think it's just shy of 30 grams. All right, too late to the party. Don't worry, we might go back for you if you stick around. We're gonna move forward and then we might go back. Here's another one, 
another little uh, petroleum what's on the top row of this paper the top row of this paper this is a pop rock tourmaline with blue cap and this is a russian tourmaline and that's the top of this paper this is oil oil quartz with tons of rutile that one's coming out of my collection that's it for the top row uh, there was a topaz up there that sold hello janet welcome 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 Wood. we've been waiting for you i, I saved all of the best shit for you <laughs> see look this little cutie oh it had a, i just saw a water bubble move there's a bubble in there probably in that little pocket yeah they did it again anyways this one is the little the littlest one that one is 33 dollars petroleum quartz from pakistan pakistan from pakistan 3668 for emily oh, i see it what about me oh amber you missed us last night what about you you were drinking you forgot to get the text last night was crazy as hell you would have loved it we sold everything at half price it was fucking crazy literally it was nuts Can you get the perky? Yes, no problem. Make a note. She wants a perky box on that. Put it on the little, what do you call it? The little post-it note. Okay, here we got two more of these. Here's, this one's a heart. Is it, is it a heart shape? Almost. It's almost like a heart. Look, you could call it a heart, or maybe not. It's a cute little bugger. Amber, what are you doing? You need to be on our text list. So that I can wake you up out of a drunken stupor. Look, shameless plug. Send us a text so you don't miss anything. Tonight we are doing the high-end show. We are doing the very nice fine minerals that nobody has ever seen. Last night we blew everything out that we had already shown. We are doing it again on Wednesday night. We will do a half-price special and make everything cheap and go away bye-bye fast. So make sure you save some money for Wednesday because Wednesday we will destroy everything. <laughs> I don't know about destroy, but we will have fun and sell all of the rocks. Last night we sold 95% of what we showed with like three and four and five people that wanted each piece, just about. It was fucking crazy. And now I'm like, this is what happens with other people normally. And I'm like, this is ridiculous. Why can't I do this every night? I don't know. It's because you always have good taste and I show you good shit. You can't buy it all because it's, sometimes it's expensive. I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay, one more. What happens Wednesday? Wednesday we're doing another uh, another fifty percent off show of stuff that I've been showing for the last year. Everything last night was stuff that we had shown before. So, fifty percent off shows are kind of like liquidation. Like let's move it on. So we're going to keep doing that. I've got like three or four more of those shows that I can do. Last night was the first one. It was a good test. You guys stepped up to the ballpark. Very good, and we're very appreciative of that. Here's this UV reaction petroleum quartz from Pakistan. Man, that's some cool shit. That's got a little bubble up in there too. Shee-wee. All right, y'all. Don't forget. Don't forget about tonight too. All the good shit's here tonight, man. Yes, 50% is wonderful. So don't forget to save your money to open your wallet chakra next Wednesday. Okay, but we do have good rocks to show you here. These are all new. You've never seen them before. Every single one of them is nothing you've ever seen before. It's all brand new. It's all super. This is a five mineral specimen. I'm on high alert for something special until then. Uh, what time Wednesday? Next Wednesday, probably seven o'clock. Sean Atwood, 3673. I got you there. Sean Atwood. Uh, what's it? What's it? What's it? What's it? Uh, what are you looking for, Joy? What are you looking for? Other than that bracelet. <laughs> so this is a crazy mineral specimen. You're probably like, what the hell is all this? Why is it so expensive? And it's like so weird and shit. So this is a hydroxyl herderite. Hydroxyl green hydroxyl herderite. And on this, we have a green hydroxyl herderite. And then this is a topaz right here. This is black tourmaline. Is a quartz on the little black tourmaline, and this is albite. Albite, so albite, shoral, 
hydroxyl herterite, quartz, and topaz, all in the same specimen. It's a cute little fucker. It's because of this guy. This is the guy. Everybody loves these things. These are really kind of rare. Little, little fucker. Here, so six hundred dollars on that. And I apologize, but that's a good mineral specimen. There's five minerals going on there. It's aesthetic, and it's got a little green herder, right? It's like crazy shit. Actually, really sought after, and not very easy to find. Okay, next up, I know. You guys got spoiled by these last night, but I'm going to show you what a really good one looks like. And that's the old price. This is just as jemmy as can be. I know it can be more jemmy, but look, look at the quality of this. Very aesthetic, nice, large crystal. And I know I told you I spoiled the shit out of you last night with those $20 price tags. <laughs> it's not 400 but that is what we had on it at the show for a long time, just because it's a beautiful little thumbnail. Actually, it's not. It's too big for a thumbnail, but it's big enough. It's a little miniature, and we got the price here tonight of two fifty. So you can see the difference in quality between what we got right here with a big jemmy crystal on it, standing up on its own on Matrix. That's what sets it apart from what we had last night, which was also really amazing and really inexpensive. And that's why you bought them all. I didn't end up keeping a single one because I undersold them, and that's good. Thank you. Hope you enjoy them. That's great. If you're in it for the energy, you don't need to have this crazy expensive nice one. You just get whatever you want. It gets a nice pretty colored one. That's all you need. Okay, Brandbergs. And I think there's some uh, Chibukus in here. I think they're mixed up. So this is a Brandberg. That's the old price. Let's see. Have we got any bubbles in there? There might be some bubbles in there. That was the show sticker. There's some record keepers going on in there. This is Gaboba Seb. Brandberg, famous amethyst deposit. This one is $150. Let's see if we can show it off better. Not really. Oh, that's because that's UV, the wrong fucking light. Okay, 150. Here's a scepter. Septa from Chibuku. This is Zimbabwe. I think this one's Zimbabwe. Pretty sure that's Zimbabwe. They got mixed up. Sometimes Bramberg does weird shit like this too, but this is probably Zimbabwe piece. You can see the Septa going on in here. It's really nice. Let's see. Let's get this. Uh, what's. Oh, that's the wrong size, Rusty. Wrong side always. Here, yeah, look. Okay. Super nice Jemmy Amethyst going on in there. That one is $60 for a nice little scepter. Nice little scepter. Here's another, another scepter. It's got some hematite on the side. Secondary growth going on up in there. $80 on that one. Man, am I going to last through the whole duration of this show? Let's find out. It's, it all depends on you. If we bore ourselves, then we will end up ending the show early. <laughs> Doing two shows in a row is not easy. I tell you what, I did not sleep so good. This one is a very nice scepter, you can see. And look at all of this stuff that was on the outside. That's really cool. It's like little cubes going on in there. I don't even know what to call that. It's like other oh, mineral that was growing there. That one there, sixty dollars for a nice scepter. Very good scepter for your staff. Brandberg, doubly terminated, that's the old price. Smoky and amethyst, there's got to be bubbles in that. Let me see. There's one bubble right there. Uh, there's, at there's at least one bubble in that one. You might find other ones. 
That one's 170. Okay, this one's half price. This is caught with Shatakite balls all over it. Little ring, there's a little ring of Shatakite balls on it. That's the old price, we're gonna do half of that. A double crystal with all kinds of balls on it like that. And it's a hundred bucks. It's almost, a, it's like a heart. It is a heart, don't tell Nicole. Is it the twin? No, it's not the twin, but it's nice. It's a very nice crystal. Shatterkite balls. Okay, this one. This is a Brandberg that's got many bubbles in it. I think there's at least three or four bubbles in it. Here, I'll move really slowly and see if you can see them. That's the old price. We came down a little bit. I found at least three bubbles in here. Let me see. Let's get it excited here. There we go, see? Bubbles. Bubbles. Look at all those bubbles. 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 Oh my god, there's at least three. One, two, uh, three. Yes, yeah, so three bubbles, maybe more. That one's 150 for three bubbles. 36.82. Which of those two are better? Uh, which two? Uh, Emily, I got a four from you, but I don't know what that means. All it says is four. Uh, Joy Razor, which which two were you referring to? Out of between what? This one and this one? This one's got more color. This one's got more movement in the bubbles. It's got some nice teeth on the outside here. This one shows smoky and amethyst there's probably a bubble in there four bubbles she says that's what you're doing claim one of those two brandbergs you gotta tell me which one this one it's like this 170 and 150 so you tell me you can take them both take them both for 300 or choose one or i'll choose it for you but you know it's your birthday so you gotta choose 150, 170, 300 for the pair. Emily says, four bubbles. I was like, four what? It's four bubbles. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, good. Waiting on you to make a decision there, Joy. Four bubbles for 150, or this one for 170. Good stuff. Whichever one with more bubbles. Okay, this one has more bubbles and you can see them a lot easier. So we're gonna go with that one. Joy Razor there, 150. 150. Yep, that's what it says on the sticker. Claim 150, thank you, Joy. Okay, here's another one. This is from uh, one of, this is from my first collection. Let me take the price and put it on the bottom there. It's the Japanese price. So this is an orange river crystal. This is cool. Happy birthday, Joy, thank you. You got the birthday coming up. We'll send you. We'll send you a little gift. Put a note on there. Birthday gift. I'd have done the bubbles too. She said. Okay. So this is orange river quartz. Here's the original quartz. It's growing up this way in the crystals. And then this other scepter it grows on the side. It's just like a bazooka. He's like, hey, let me carry this bazooka on my shoulder here. It's not a birthday yet. It's coming up. I don't remember when you, you said next week. Next next Wednesday? Next Wednesday. Coming up in four, three days. Anyway, so this is like a amethyst with hematite, and it's got a bazooka scepter on the side, which is really cool. From my first collection, it was $200 when I put it up on display in Japan. I marked it down to $120. A really interesting piece. A scepter bazooka. Pretty cool. I'm happy for you. Thank you. It's awesome. You're going to get this awesome pace with all these bubbles, and I'm going to send you something cool, too. We love bubbles. 
Yes, we love bubbles. I have bubble collection. Too many, too many, too many bubbles. Okay. This is a very weird locality. This came out of an old collection that I bought in Colorado Springs in like 2006. I've had it in my collection ever since. And now it's for sale. This is an amethyst. Uh, well, I can't call it a cathedral. I don't know what to call it. Maybe it's a cathedral. This is from Pakistan. I never saw one before. And I, I did lots of business in Pakistan. This, this was before my time. It came out in the 1990s or something. Oh, she says, Nicole, that bracelet would make a nice birthday gift. <laughs> Just Which kidding. One? She wants your, uh, she wants your, oh, your yeah, blue yeah. opal bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> Which one have that? I did. She you? saw it when the day, she missed the one that we, they got sold. And she's, she, we, I told her about yours. And then she's been, she's been coveting it. No, don't put it on. She'll get upset. We'll have to get you one. I'll find you one, Joy. I told you, I got to ask my friend. Yes, it's a very weird artichoke. Yes, that's what I would call it. It's an artichoke quartz. That's what it's called. Um, here's the here's the sticker. This was this is the old label from literally long, long, long ago. Twenty five hundred twenty five thousand yen was two hundred and twenty five dollars, and tonight I marked it down beyond half. BBNLV. BBNLV. Yes, it's one seventy three six eight zero. Thank you. I don't know why I priced this so cheap. Shinex, this should be yours. I put a hundred bucks on it. Less than half of what I had on it before. It's a weirdo. Hundred bucks. Amethyst from Vana, Waziristan. Waziristan, Pakistan. For one hundred dollar. Marked down from two hundred twenty-five. Wow. Less than half price. Holy shit, man. What are you smoking today, Rusty? Some kind of crack making up these crazy prices what are you thinking what are you thinking okay here's another one from the collection this is a rarity from australia from australia mate this is from the rhyolitic geode deposit from morala from morala australia if you know anything about this location this is a big fucking crystal from that location it's got a nice rainbow in there they're usually much, much smaller and not this size and they don't all, always come on matrix like that. Sometimes they fall off. But this is a really, really good one. I could probably sell it for more in Australia because they know that these are worth a lot because that's a big one. That's the thing. It's, they don't get big like this very often. So that's $80 US, $80 US dollars. Straight out of the collection. Straight out of Compton. Okay, here's another one. It was from the first collection. BBNLV 3686. Yeah, see, she knows. She knows. She knows what's up because she lives in Australia. She's like, oh my God, those are fucking expensive when they get good like that. <laughs> she said, me, that's mine. That's okay. Want to bring it back to Oz? Yes, you could put it to rest in its, in its home territory. Excellent, excellent. So this is a smoky quartz. Show me the skew again. Uh, the skew is 3684. I'll take it if I don't buy any Ahoites tonight. Yes, yes, 3684. You can remember it. 100 bucks. So this is a smoky quartz from Lincoln County, New Mexico, which is a very, very famous, probably the most important smoky quartz deposit in America. Oh shit, what's the pink, pink? 3675 what is 3675 this is uh cobalt and calcite very 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 pink with a lot of cobalt and it's very aesthetic and a good big crystal on it this is this is a quality miniature mineral specimen that's the old price and i'm going to shake the phone a little bit i put 250 on it 250 maybe we could take 220 but damn it, that's a good rock. It's so, it's hot. It's hot. And it looks, it looks just like that. The camera's picking it up perfectly. It's a fucking stunning rock is what it is. Okay, Lincoln County, New Mexico. This is Jemmy. You can see these are, these are super, super, super high quality. Very desirable. People charge stupid fucking prices for these things. I got this one a long time ago. I don't even remember when or how or where or whatever, you know. But there it is. You can see right through it for $50. Lincoln County, New Mexico. 
Super famous smoky corks. Okay, this is a fucking weird piece here. Look at this thing. This is so crazy. What's the pink stone? This is cobalcian calcite from the Democ Democratic Republic of Congo. 2017 it came out. That's a stunner. A stunner for 250. Okay. This is crazy. This is blue topaz on haystack crystals of quartz. There's one, two, three blue topazes. This is from Namibia from 2018, beginning of the year. And there were not many clusters on quartz. Most of them were singles. There were not many matrix pieces at all. Weird ass haystack crystals. Blue topaz does not come on matrix very often. You see the piece right about that calcite for 60 more time. Uh, right above that calcite for 60. Yeah. This one. Petroleum quartz. Probably got little bubbles in it inside the little petroleum pockets. Oh, wow. um, I know they do, and I'm too lazy to actually show them, but they do move. Little, little. There's one there. There's one over here. And that one. 30, 36.71. 60 bucks. Blue topaz. Back to the blue topaz. This is just a weirdo. You don't find blue topaz on Matrix, especially on quartz like this very often. And it's not easy to get natural blue topaz in general. So this is a pretty weird oddity. It's $225. It's a needle haystack all the way around. It's a complete floater. That's all quartz crystals. This is from Irongo. It was a one-time find in 2018. It came and it went and they didn't find it again. 225. And that's the only Matrix piece that I know of, actually. There might be some other ones. I didn't see everything, but I did see a good bit of it. All right, three more rocks and then this page is done. And then we'll move on to some Ahoite for all of you waiting for Ahoite because I got some killers. So this is three, this is called Three Generations of Fluorite. I don't know if this shows the three generations very good because it actually completed all around. What's left of your brain barriers? Two, two, two deets bugs. You eat bugs? Okay, fine, let's show you Brandberg. Uh, Brandberg, this is the only Brandberg lift. The other three that are there are Chibukus. You saw a face. Yes, we'll get back to that. This one's 150. Pretty sure that's the only Brandberg. Oh, there's a cluster on the other table. On the other thingy over there, there's a little cluster on Matrix. So there's this one. And then this is the Chibuku Zimbabwe ones. This one is $60. We'll get back to that fluorite. I'll show you the face. This one is $60 for a little scepter. And this one is eighty dollars for the little scepter. So back to it. There's a face. Let's see. Let's show you the. Where's the face here? No Lemurians tonight. Mushrooms. I don't actually own that many Lemurians. I have some Colombian ones. I'll remember the next time you've requested. I believe more than once. So I'll get some Colombian Lemurians out. So this is three generations of fluorite, which is really actually hard to see the three generations because the last generation encapsulated the other two. But a lot of these do, did not have that happen where you could see the, the three generations very distinctly. Uh, but I do see a face. It's an face. owl. Yeah. It's an owl. There's like a beak and two eyes. He's tripping in one eyeball. That's why his eyeball is like super big. There's a, a little court to you. Look, there's a beak. Uh, I don't know. They sing it, not me. Maybe 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 flip it. You want me to flip it? I'll flip. No, I'll flip you off. How about that? Nicole's asking me to flip it off. Here, let's do this. Let's show you the three the three generations. Each generation was a different color. There was yellow, and then there was blue, and then there was purple. So you can see the purple in there, and the blue, and the yellow is in the bottom. Anyways, three generations of fluoride. Really cool. Weird shit. This is from. Rimfasmak? It's from South Africa. Rimfasmak or, no, or Orange River. I think it's Orange River. Very neat. Super weird. Pretty well priced. Decent size. 
It's a th- it's a, not a thumbnail. It's a miniature. It's like four centimeters. It's got the face on it. Sixty dollars. You can't go wrong there. And I, there's a couple more of those. No, actually, those got put away for next week. I had to split my stock so that I didn't show everything tonight because I'm not going to get through what I have. So this is a fucking weird piece. This looks... All right, so this is a quartz crystal, right? And it looks like a scepter. Oh, so cool. It looks like a scepter, but it's not. This is a quartz crystal growing into or out of. This is actually fluorite. All of this here is fluorite. It kind of looks like an amethyst scepter, but then you look at this crystal here, and that's definitely not amethyst. That is an octahedral fluorite. So this is an this is a stair stepped octahedral fluorite coming off of a quartz scepter. This is a stupid piece. This is also from Orange River. Super weird, coming off a of quartz. You can see the quartz in there. And this one is ninety dollars. Which is a really good deal. It looks like and let's do this. You can see the zoning in the fluorite. Ninety bucks. That's a cool piece. Not one to sleep on. Golden hour. He knows. Ha <laughs> ha. Thirty six <laughs> eighty nine. Of course, he's lurking in the background, waiting for the crazy shit. You guys need to follow what he does. He's very calculated. There's a red heart in there too. Yes, Alan is very seasoned. He's a seasoned veteran. He goes to all these shows. He knows his shit. He's got very good taste. Thank you, Alan. Okay, this is a Brazilian Super 7. Let's see if I can show you all the shit that's going on in here. There's like, uh, what you call it? Rare, there's steel colored needles. It's probably root teal. Let's see if I can not knock the phone. Oh, Rusty, come on. Yeah, let's do this. This, this one's better. Ooh, is there a bubble in there? I hope not. I hope not, because I didn't see it when I priced it. Oh, I don't know. There's some shit going on in there. You can see. Shit. There's a bunch of shit in there. It's just rock shit. Oh, look at the rainbows. Whoa, I didn't notice that before. That's pretty cool. We see them on there? All right, they're in the rainbow. Gay astral rainbows has joined the party. Okay, I just saw the rainbow. Yes, now she saw the rainbow. So she knows. All right, so that's how much of a lag there is for you. Not everybody has the same lag as you. Or the same nag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is a Brazilian Super 7. You can see all the shit going on in there. It's a pretty nice one, $60. It's an old piece. Espiritu Santo from many, many years ago. I don't even remember when I got it. My, maybe 2005 I got it fucking really old I'm getting old mm-hmm. okay my this box is done Nicole mm-hmm. take it away take it away dog Rusty do you have any epidote pieces that could be used for gridding um yes I do actually have little tiny bow ties that are about this big little like one and two centimeter bow ties uh, I don't have them in front of me, but remind me and I'll pull them out of a box in storage and I can show them to you like uh, tomorrow, tomorrow or something. Okay, let's see. I need some. Oh, you got me there already. All right, let's do this. We're going to do this and then what are we going to do after that? You probably don't want to see all the expensive floor arts. We've got some more expensive shit there. Alan might want to see that. Let's do that. We're going to do this. Oh, God, that's fucking heavy. Okay, here we go. We're gonna we're gonna aha white you all out now. We're gonna book, this is some panty dropper shit. Can you show the last one again, please? Uh, the last one was this Super Seven from Brazil, Espirito Santo. It, it might have a water bubble. Oh, I forgot to show the zoning. Look, there's a, there's zoning in the bottom there. Smoky. It's like a halo. Ah, throwing stones. Good thing I've got carpet. Oh, my God. Don't worry, everyone. It's okay. There you go. Kaylee Mary Designs. That's the last one. That one's $60. Oh, come on, you stupid light. Do what I need you to do. There, 369. 369! 
Awesome. Okay. Thank you, BB and LV, for the DM. It's sad it's over, but excited to see what's next. What do you mean, what's over? This page? That was a good page. Mm -hmm. Okay, claim. Claim 60. I got you, Kaylee, for that. Okie dokie. Next, we're going to ahawite you guys all out. You're gonna, you're gonna bla it's going to blast your heart chakra wide open through the screen. You're going to be like, damn it, Rusty, what are you doing to me? My heart's wide open. I hope that's okay. We're going to blast it open now. With the, we're going to blast it open with some ocean blue. Everybody's favorite ocean blue. Let's go, she says. Let's go. Fucking hurry up, Rusty. All right. What's first? Which, I don't, there's not that much Ahawai. There's only a little bit. Let's start with these big fucking clusters here. We've got two massive clusters with not a lot of color, but that's how it goes. Yeah, I need two hands for this. Got to take the whole damn... I got to show you like one side at a time because it's so damn big. So this is all nicely terminated crystals. And here, yeah, oh man, I don't even have enough room. Ahoy, ahoy, ahoy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's like 10 crystals there. Holy mother of God. <laughs> and then there's some more ahoy going on up in here. Ahoy, ahoy, ahoy. And then there's a bigger crystal there. Man, I can't even hold this thing. It's Can so fucking it? big. No, it's all right. I'm talking shit. It's just, there's some more ahoy. I'm trying, I'm pointing at the screen like you can see it. There, there's some more ahoy in there. There's some hematite. There's a little bit of ahoy. It's not a lot. It's not crazy colored, but it's the color. The, the price is very good. The price is very good. I lowered the price. This was the old price. The old price, look, you can see how faded it was. Oh, look, this side, this is, a, this is a floater. You see all this? This is all crystalline. All crystalline. Oh, and there's the back too. It's all crystalline on the back too. It's got the crusty shit on it. You know, the crusty from wow, your, crusty nice shit tag. from your pants. Yes, look at how old the Ooh, price tag price is. Tag. Look, it's faded. It stayed, it stayed under a light forever. I put it down a little bit. The prices of these things have gone up since then. But I put here, 11 11 If you can tolerate it. If you can handle it. I can't even hold it up. It takes my whole hand. There you go. 38 38 30 between your pants. Hey, hey, what are you talking about? Uh, it's crusty in my pants, okay? Don't make fun of me. Okay, we're going to keep that one over here in the box. You got no crust. You're not doing it right then. Man, live a little. Come on. <laughs> Don't take a shower every day. <laughs> Sorry. This is what happens when you go to Africa too many times. You don't need showers. You just go. Go. What's change of clothes? Okay, never mind. I didn't say any of that. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, we're gonna show you the next big, fat, crazy, ridiculous cluster. This one's even bigger and crazier than the other one. Here, there you go. This one just arrived. I bought this one out of a collection. You can see many color is here. Little bit of color is there. Little bit of color is there, like this. And it stands, does it stand? It's, it doesn't stand like that. It stands like that. No, it doesn't stand. You've got to use a pillow. It almost stands. You can use a little pillow right here. It would stand pretty good. Anyways, here, let's give you the, let's give you the secret tool. Ready? Oh, the hair. That's free. Don't charge for the hair. <sighs> okay, get up. Go on, hair. Epidote, you see little green epidote pockets. There's another one in there. There's another one in there. There's some little ahoite going on. There's some hematite, lots of hematite. A little more ahoite. There's a big fat point coming up here. There's a little ahoite going on in there. Shipping for these will be cray cray. No, it's not that bad. I'll work with you. You know, it'll be, it's not going to be $45, but we'll figure it out, you know, and it's pricey enough. I'll just give you free shipping if you love it. I'll ship it for free for you all the way to Macau, but you've got to take me to the casino. 
So that one there is 222, and to be honest, if I put it on Etsy, I'm going to put it for like 333, 33, or probably 3500 or something like that, because that's probably what it's worth. But, you know, it is what it is. We got, we got to give you good deals, everybody. If, you, if, you, if you're in it for making money, you can buy it and make some money and all that shit. So 22, 22. If you don't buy it for making money, then there you're getting $1,000 off or something like that. And Shinex, I'll, buy, I'll send it to you for free, damn it. It'll probably cost me 100 bucks or more. At least 100 Okay. Those are the two big fat clusters. That rock needs a bigger baggie. You're so silly. No, don't you know it fits in there? The bag ain't for the rock to go in. The bag's from a price. It's the easiest way for me to show you my shit. Okay, here, I'm going to do these while I've got my damn thing in there. Just, just do it. No thanks, it's too big. Uh, well, I'll break it in half for you. How about that? Okay, so we got Ruby and Zoocyte. This is a crazy fucking, not Zoocyte, Ruby and Fuchsite and Kyanite. There's Ruby and Kyanite and Fuchsite. This is from India. And it's a really good one. It's a big fat ball. It's like three and a half inches. Here, look, it's the best, one of the best ones. This one is going to go on Etsy if you don't buy it. It's just like, holy shit, man. What a good rock. That's a good one. Look at all those rubies. Look at them all. Ruby and Kyanite and Fuchsite. Fuchsite. Fuchsite is my favorite mineral. Mineral. Everybody loves a Fuchsite. And that is the price there. Thirty-eight twenty-nine, three hundred. dollars I'm going to keep these back in the flat because otherwise they roll all over the place. $38.29. That's a nice big fat ball for that. Uh -huh. And I've got one more of those that's even bigger. Here's another one. And then we could move on to some more Ahoite, but I just finished this box because only four pieces in the box and then we're done with it. So it look, it's another big fat ruby and fuchsite sphere. Looky, looky, look, look, looky, look, look, look. Look, 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 look. Oh, look, there is a triangle. Triangle ruby in the, in the brown spot. That's pretty cool. Anyways, it's super stupid big. That one's probably close to four inches. And that one's also $300. 20, 38, 28 for that guy. 300. Okay. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. No, I don't have a shitload of these. So you're not going to, you know. There's actually, I don't, I don't have any Ahoite not polished points in the box. It's all polished and jewellery. That's all I've got. I didn't put any poly any any what you call them together. There's not I don't have a lot of points. Anyways, here we go. This is a new polished point. Came off the cutting wheel not too long ago. Getting down to the end of these. I had a bunch of them. All of you crazy people bought them all. Probably resold them all and made a million dollars. That's great. Make a million dollars and come back and buy some more. This one here, 333. Yes, it's a play button. You can hit the button and roll it across the screen. 333. Ahoy. Number one. Ready, set, go. Here's a 35.99.98 for Emily. Awesome. Thank you, Emily. 35.98. There's a little guy, a little guy, but he's got packs of punch. He's got a lot of eye white in there. It's the smallest one of that cluster that I had. It's, it's a little guy. It's so cute. I think I showed that one before. Mate, no, actually I didn't, but I didn't publicly, but I did to somebody. 222 and a little one there. Little guy. Actually, I think Emily saw it. I don't remember. I showed it to someone. <coughs> Here is another one. Oh my God. Very good. Little bit bigger, little more color. Little more tabular. And this, 3600 444. Four, four, four. Yay. Very good. 
Do you have Moldavite? I do have some Moldavite. I don't know if I'm going to show it tonight. We will see. We've still got two more hours to go. So maybe we will. Maybe. Okay. Look at this crazy thing. That's all gold there and silver on the back and gold around the sides. And that's a lot of Ahoite. Little, little hairy Ahoite. You can see it. It's so beautiful. It's such the most amazing, beautiful blue color ever. Mm. And the little sprays there, it's just like little snowflakes. It's just awesome. Mm. Little angel drops. Sparkly. That's what I put on it before. I believe I put that on it in Tucson. And then this, we're doing it. We're gonna do 600 on that. Special price for you, my friends. That's 14 karat gold and 925 just on the back there. 600. Very saturated. Oh, another very saturated one. You can see, look, there's a hole in the crystal. You can see my finger there. Amazing. Holy shit. Look at that. <laughs> this is Ahoy jewelry. Oh my god, you're not gonna find this anywhere else because I'm the only one making it as far as I know. No, some people have made it, it's not true. I know there's some stuff out there. But most of the cabochons I've cut they're out there and people are making jewelry with the cabochons that I made. These are some of the best ones I saved for myself so I could sell them directly to you. Yay! Three hundred and fifty dollars on that. Amazing. Amazing, it's incredible. It's Ahoy. Mm. All right, what's next? Yeah, like I said, more jewelry than points. <clears throat> this is this just this piece is so dumb. This piece is so dumb. Look at all the sprays and the little calcites in there. Uh, that's really weird. Yeah, because it's still going on. That's super weird. <laughs> Instagram just told Nicole she got logged out. But it's still playing the video. <laughs> but the video is still being played in the background. That's super weird. This one is crazy. Look at all the sprays going on in here. This is a bigger piece. I'll show you is a much bigger piece. That one's 350. It's, this one's got a gold bezel and a gold bail and the backing is silver. This, this is just a stupid crystal, stupid piece. Unbelievable, amazing. We love you, Ahoyed. You're not stupid, you're amazing. Stupid is not the right adjective. 888 on that one. Worth every penny. Such a good one. Here's something I've never shown before. If it's not too much trouble, show the 1111 again. Of course not too much trouble. It's never too much trouble. Except it's so big, I have to zoom it out. Look, when it's zoomed in like that, you can't see shit. <laughs> 1111 here. That's it, right? There's some ahoites over there. There's a little spots in here. Most of the crystals are terminated. A couple, couple of ahoites, and then a bunch of bunch of blue over on this side. There's like ten points on this side. I got a little bit. All right. Oh, and then there's this complete on the bottom. We call this a floater because this has all got growth here. You can see the little crystals all interlocking. And then all of the back is also crystalline with a bunch of schmutz on the back. But that's typical for Messina. And I'm making a little bit of a mess. Is that good enough? The green ones are epidote. Like in here, this is all epidote. There's hematite, epidote. Uh, the brownish ones in there is pimentite, which is very similar to epidote. It's like almost molecularly the same. This is ten tenorite in there. 
And those are all the minerals that I see on that one. And I'll work with you on the shipping on that one too, if it's gonna go to Australia. Figure out a way, Australia, man, they, they really screwed us up with shipping to Australia now. Oh, how do you get uh, fudge? Sorry, hold on, I'm helping Nicole. There, double tap. You're just you it logged you out. You gotta log back in. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Nicole's gotten sh screwed. She's gotten logged out here. What are we gonna do? You can um Yeah, I don't know either. Maybe maybe Shirley can help you. <laughs> All right. Okay, here's something I've never shown on the live before. This is really random. I've got a couple of beads here. These are the best beads that I've got left that I can sell individually. Most of the other beads are gone. I've got one big necklace I'm gonna make. These are I believe 14 millimeters. You can see there's the hole going through. I honestly, I, I broke up a really nice necklace or a really nice uh, bracelet and I sold these individually and I got a thousand dollars a piece for them in Japan at the, at the peak of the cutting that I was doing. And we got maybe 800 to a thousand a piece. I put 600 on these, but that was, you know, last year I marked them down if you've got to have one, you can make a really nice bracelet for yourself. There's $450 each. And I know that seems like a lot, but you lose a shitload of quartz and color when you cut these things and it's a gamble. And yeah, you're, there's just not a lot of, there's a bunch of fake ones out there. Don't go on Etsy and find the $100 bracelets that the Indians are trying to sell calling it Ahoy. That's a really good way to not get Ahoy and get something that's not what you want. So if you love Ahoyte and you want to have a bracelet or make this into a necklace or something, here's an opportunity that doesn't come around very often. And I tried to lower the price as best as I could so that you didn't scream. Ah! 450H. Mm. Okay. Should we do the rest of the Ahoy? I guess we should. Uh, let's see here. Oh, shit, am I too lazy to take these out? So these, some more, these are three more little beads. These are cheaper and smaller. They're not that impressive, I will say. But that's how it goes. The $200 a piece. This one's Papagoite. This one's Ahoyte. Though these are 14 Shinix, I think. I'm pretty sure they're 14, and these are 10, I think, 10 millimeters. Uh, so Papagoite, Ahoite, Ahoite. I can be a not lazy bum and take them out also if I really have to. Here, let me see if I can show it better. It's 200 a piece, all three for 500. We'll knock 100 bucks off. These are the last loose beads that I have. $36.98. <clears throat> I get requests for loose beads quite a bit. Okay, here's a really, really interesting cabochon that I just had cut out of a crystal that had an ugly face on it. This I saw a phoenix in this. This is a can you see the phoenix? The head's not really clear, but it, actually, no, there is a phoenix head. So there's the phoenix head. You can see the, the black comes up on the side, and then there's a little eye, and then there's the reddish-orange beak. And then these are the wings. This is the body, and this is the tail. So we got an Ahoite phoenix. This is native copper and some tenorite. Uh, the brown, I'm not 100% sure. Crazy piece though, Ahoite Phoenix. I should probably keep that. I will offer it, but if you don't buy it, I will not be sad. I can keep the Ahoite Phoenix. 
I didn't see it as a phoenix when I priced it. I was looking at it later and I was like, that kind of looks like a bird. Yes, 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 Paula, I know. Doctor, I see you, but I only see a CL and then maybe something happened to the rest of your thingy. <clears throat> your your comment. I think it was claim something or other. <laughs> CL. Not chloride, but claim or clam. Anyways, Ahoite Phoenix. Wow, that's really cool. I'm going to have to get that one set. That one just came back from the cutter. Brand new. Here's another one. This is just so ridiculous. Absolutely stunning. Crystal facing up this way is the Phantom. You can see it. We made it into a half, half cabochon, half crystal. It's like a hybrid piece. You can still make a, something out of it or keep it like a point if you want. Cap it in gold if you want. Throw it across the room if you want. No, don't do that. Unless it's going to, you know, enlighten someone. You know, you can throw it right in their nose and be like, enlighten yourself already. Come on. This one here for the quantity of saturation. We're going 500 on that. 500. Okay, what's next? We got... This one's really cool. This is a new cabochon that just came back. It's got a papagoite halo. And a little bit of Ahoite haloing right here too. So there's an Ahoite halo and a Papagoite halo in the same little bit. It's like a Kaolinite, Kaolinite ball. Actually, that's probably Ahoite that didn't turn blue. There's like, well, maybe it's Kaolinite. I don't know. Ahoite, Papagoite, Tenorite. Little halos are pretty cool. It's a different style. Having both in the same rock is not super common. And that one is 280. It's got a little cat's eye thingy going on there, if you can see it. A little spot. Here's another one from the same rock. Ruby Jinx 3701. Ruby Jinx, what is that icon? The black is Tenorite, T-E-N-O-R-I-T-E. -E. It's a copper mineral. Ruby Jinx, I got you for 3701. Uh, you're, that's cool, you're using an emoji, but uh, what is that? It's a raccoon. <laughs> Here you go, write that down. Okay. Oh, you don't even, are you in? Yeah. Okay, uh, so Ruby J-I-N-X. R-U-B-Y-J-I-N-X. Yep. N-X. Thank you, Ruby Jinx. Here's another one from the same crystal. It's got a, a papagoite halo. Come on. Yeah, let's move over. Papagoite halo and a little bit of ahoite in there too. It's following this funny funny little line. Black as tenorite. Come on, stay in focus. Oh, and there's a hematite, hematite phantom right there. So hematite, ahoite, papagoite, tenorite. Boom. That one's more like a point, but it's also kind of like a mixed cabochon piece. It's got a bezel right there. You can cap it or you can do either whatever you want. And that one there is 230. 230. 230. All righty. What's next? This one is a panty dropper. What if I don't want to be nice, he said. Oh, you're looking at the pinned comment. Uh, I was just about to show this one, Emily. I lowered the price on this. I don't know if I ever showed you this one. This one has literally like nine or ten minerals in it. It's fucking crazy. This rock is so ridiculous. We had to polish it multiple times to get all the shit to come out. Papagoite and the white sprays, I believe, is kaolinite. There's native copper deep in the in the center there. It's got dendrite. There's limonite. There's tenorite. Let me see. You got to get this. Yeah, where's the dendrites? There's dendrites in here too. Uh, there, dendrite. You see that? And ahoite, ahoite, dendrite, limonite, papagoite, hematite, native copper. Uh, white fucking sprays, whatever that is. I don't know, I lost count. But I think I've counted like nine nine minerals in this thing before. 
It's old Polish. This is from the red, white, and blue pocket from the 1980s. It's the famous, famous pocket. It's probably my most desired pocket of any quartz crystal anywhere on the planet. And there's only like 100 of them that have ever been found. It is a whole world in here. And this is not cheap. I had $3,500 on this for a long time. I do think it's worth that. But I did price it down significantly today. That doesn't mean that you're going to buy it, but if you want, it's an opportunity to get a piece of history. There's literally only 100 of these, maybe 150. I've, I, haven't, I don't know for sure. They came out in the 1980s. I, until, I think there's about 100 crystals that they found. I've seen maybe 30 or 40 of them. Ahuite, Papagoite, Dendrite, Hematite, Native Copper, Kaolinite, Tenorite. And there's got to be more shit in there. Without further ado, here's the price that I'm willing to let it go tonight, and that is much less than I have ever offered it before, and I cannot guarantee that I will keep that price on it forever, but there it is. You don't have to buy it tonight to keep the price. I will honor it for some duration of time, but I do think it's worth $35, $3,500 at least. 22, 22. I will be sad to see it go. Shinix is crying. Okay, I've got one more. This is also a panty dropper. This is in the collection. I don't even know why I priced it, but I'm taking it out and we're gonna sell it. Pulling it out of the collection is rare, very, very rare for me to do that. This might be the nicest faceted ahoy you've ever seen. And it's not a traditional facet, it's more like a scenic facet, but look at this shit. This is absolutely stunning. Stupid crystal. Amazing ahoy. This is the shit that history is made of. This is the mind boggling, mind blowing crystal that will open your heart just from looking at it. I don't even know why I put the price on it. I don't even know if I should sell it. Maybe I won't. No, we'll, we'll, we'll put the price on it. I don't know. I'll find another one. This pocket, this wispy is called Angel, Wi Angel Wing Ahawai. It was found in 2008. It was an amazing, amazing pocket. I got the majority of the pocket. It's pretty awesome. I bought this back from my cutter two years ago. You shouldn't sell it. I know, I probably shouldn't. All right, I'm not going to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> I have others, but not quite like this. I mean, I have others this quality, but they're not cut like this. This is just a weirdo cut. You can see it sits up like that. Twenty-seven hundred. Worth every penny. Probably worth more than that. Can't guarantee I'll sell it tomorrow. But there you have it. That's all the new Ahawite that I have to show you. Would you ever do a live showing off some of your collection? Yes, maybe, maybe. But that might get really interesting and difficult because... I have to do these lives in order to survive. <laughs> At least now. <laughs> right now, survival is important, so we're doing a bunch more lives. If I show you my collection, that's, not, that's just, you know, that's good. I can show it, but then I can't sell it. This is a Ahoite on top of Gem Sujolite. This is a doublet. I've shown this before, but you probably haven't seen it if you didn't see it before, unless you saw my static post, which we made. So this is a little Ahawite spray you can see right here in the top. Let me get this light here. No, not that. That's not it. Yeah, that doesn't do much. Here yeah, you can see the Ahawite. All of that, that sparkly shit in the front is Ahawite. And then... In, we got gem, gem sujolite in the back there. That's the best way to see it. Amazing doublet. What a crazy idea. It's my two favorite stones merged together into one. This one is $300. That's the small one. I've got one that's a little bit bigger. It's pink sujolite. 
And that's all of them. So there's Ahoy and this one. This will be the last new Ahoy. Yes, go win the lottery, dear. You can do it. You can buy them all. Here we go. Pink Suja Light with Ahoy. Nobody's done that before. There's only two of them in existence with pink. The other one I'm keeping because it's got Ahoyite mountains in it. Maybe one day I'll show you my collection. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. There's too much to show you, but I could sh we could do it one night. Pink Sugilite is very rare and hard to come by and commands a crazy premium. And there we have Ahoyite over Pink Sugilite. Amazing shit. Holy crap, man. Who's doing this? My cutter is doing it. He is crazy. He has these crazy ideas. He's a crazy man. He does all these crazy things. This one is 650. You'll not find another one for sale ever. Well, maybe not never, but there's nothing on the market. There's only two of them in existence. Okay. That's all the Ahoy. Now I've got really good Demorturi to show you that's also panty dropping shit. It's like, damn it, Rusty, why are you doing this to me all at once? It's not fair. I shouldn't show you all the good shit all at once. I've got to spread it out, but it's okay. You can panty drop all you want. Here's an Alan Palermo stone. This is a little, no more Papas. Uh, no, that's all. Papas are pretty rare right now. Maybe later we'll be lucky, we'll get some papagoites, but we don't have any papagoites. They're pretty rare. There's more ahoites than papagoites. I need all the good shit. Well, we're showing it to you. You're missing them all. I know, you can't take them all at once. Can you show L36? Yes, of course. This is an Alan Palermo stone. If you're sitting there, Alan, this is your Super 7. This is from uh, Madagascar. It's got all of the shit in there. Yes, yes, you can claim it later if it's still available. Absolutely. Unless I decide I'm not going to sell it like that one piece that came out of my collection. But yes, for the most part, you can always write me and be like, do you still have that piece? I'm interested. I'll be like, yes, or no, it's gone, or no, I'm keeping it. But don't worry. Most of the time, especially now, I'm letting things go. That's why I'm showing them in the first place. I have plenty of good rocks I've kept for myself. And I, you know, every once in a while, I can show you and sell you a few of them. Here, this is the Alan Palermo stone, $400, 3695. Cutie little Super 7 guy. What's going on there? Oh, it's not polished. Wait, no, it is polished. Wait, is it polished? If it's polished, they did a good job. It's not polished at all. It's a natural crystal. No wonder it's so cool. I know because they fuck up the angles too much when they cut them. Oh, keep it on the screen, Rusty. Okay, there's $100. $100, 3695. Not polished. Okay, three six, Rock Creative, 3600. Where is that? Here, 3600. This one's 3600. Not the, not the price, that's the SKU. It's $444. There you go, the rock creative. This is from Ahoy, it's from South Africa, from the copper deposits in the Limpopo district in the upper northeast corner of the country, bordering Zimbabwe. All right, what's next? Let's do some more. We got fiber sugilite that we can show you. Yeah, I know there was a few of you asking about fiber sigil. I, I think we got some good prices on these. Here's a nice specimen little guy. You can see the fibers going on in there. Yes, Emily, yes. I know you asked me about some of these, so I was thinking about you. Fiber sigil, pretty cool. That one. Three seven oh eight sixty five dollars.
Emily, 3708. Very good. Yes. This one's 3709. Fifty-five. Mm -hmm. B Pronic three seven oh nine for the win. Payment plan on three six nine six. Uh, you can do a payment plan. We have a couple of different options. The, uh, the options that we like the best are the ones that we get paid in full and you pay some third-party company a couple of times over time, like Klarna, PayPal has a version. Those are not the only ways we'll do it, but that's generally preferred. Um, but we can do some kind of payment plan if you desire. Uh, hopefully... You can finish it within like 30 days for 300 bucks, or if you need a little bit more time, that's too. That's probably okay too. This one is a nice thick one. I could probably cut a really good cabochon out of this one that would be worth a lot of money. Probably shouldn't <laughs> shouldn't sell that one. This one that'll cut a really expensive stone. That one there. That's definitely, yeah. That one will cut a good stone. Three seven one zero eighty dollars. Is a little one. Three seven one zero. Alan Palermo. Is a little one. Very good color. Very good. Lastar Shatoyancy. Uh, there's a couple bigger ones coming up. This one is thirty five. They're not too big. These don't really. They don't really get that big. Actually, I, the matrix part gets big, but the the amount of like spray stuff doesn't get too big. Uh, here's one that's on matrix. Can pay in full on the fourteenth. Yeah, that's not a problem. Thirty-seven eleven, Alan. Here you go, golden hour. Got you on that, Alan. Yes, Kaylee, I can do a payment plan. If you can pay in full by the 14th of June, that's not a problem. Not a problem. Yeah, you can stare at it. This one is a Matrix piece. Look at this cutie. Rusty, you're underselling it. It's all right, you guys. You got, you got people that need to make money too, so it's all right. Seventeenth, close enough. No problem, Kaylee. No problem. Ninety-five, three, seven, twelve. That's another really good one. All right, Kaylee Mary on this one on the seventeenth. We'll figure it out. Kaylee Mary designs on that. Oh, you still log out? Mm-hmm. Same one as one on the corner, if you need the name. All right, three more fiber surgilite little specimens. Um, two of them are on Matrix. This one's little. How'd you work out? Uh, yeah, that's the way it should work, Kaylee. I'll, I'll hold that one until you pay in full, and then I'll ship it again. Sure. I'll ship it. We'll ship everything else that you got mm -hmm. uh, this week, and then that one we will hold back until you pay in full. Not a problem. Not a problem. Oh, that's the good side there. Rusty's showing you the back side. It's a little one, but look, man, look at how cute it is. 3707, $45. Oh my God. Giving it away. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Yep. Put, um, put terms on that one. Yeah, June 17th, perfect. All right. $45 on that. Snag it, Alan. It's better than the other one for 35 
This one will probably clean up a little bit more. You can scrub a little bit of that black off. It'll be a little bit more shiny. You can probably even turn it into a couple specimens if you want. It's kind of neat, little blocks there. $80, 3706. There's your bigger one, Emily. It's not that big, but it's bigger than the other ones. All right, last one. The best one, of course. Save the best for last, right? Holy shit, Batman. Look at this color. What the hell's going on here? This is like ridiculous. What the heck? This is so cool. This is ridiculous. So freaking amazing. It's amazing. It's incredible. It's fiber sergialite. Yay, look at the color. Oh man, this will blow up your dreams. And look, there's the there's the fiber sergialite granny without any teeth. Oh, it's Popeye. Look, it's the fiber sergialite Popeye. He's got a mouthful of spinach. Purple spinach. Oh man, this is so awesome. What a crazy good piece. Anyways, it's about yay big. And that one is 150. 150. Oh, I'm throwing stones again. All right, they caught it. I'm catching stones. Claim last. Uh, Emily beat you to it, Alan. Emily got it, 3705. Emily the Fay. Okay, that's all the Suja light. Now, we're going to move on to Demortyrite. Actually, we've got room for two here on this page, so before I move it. Sorry, two eats bugs. Two eats bugs. That one sold. Emily the Fay. So this is a crazy weird thing. Look at this weirdo. This is such a strange specimen. This is a quartz crystal with limonite and dioptase and shatakite. Look here, look, it's terminated there. You can see a termination there. All this yellow shit. Dioptase, dioptase, shatterkite, limonite, and then it's terminated on this side too. It's not complete here. It was a really weird thing. It's not complete here. But it's weird. What a fucking weird crystal. There's a terminal terminal face there, terminal face there. It's just a weirdo. Dioptase. Some stupid, crazy, weird shit. And then when you do this, this this is really cool. Oh, don't don't knock your stones. All right, ready? You can see the dioptase in there. There's a bunch of it. Dioptase. Dioptase. You see it? Dioptase. A little bit of Jersey quartz on it. It's so cool. It's such a weird piece. Such a weirdo. Anyways, there is dioptase, shatterkite, limonite inside of quartz. And it is $200. 3596. I'm about to throw another stone here. I'm not. I need to move all this. 3596, 200. And from the same find and the same rock, here's the other side of the rock. Terminal face, dioptase, dioptase. This is just a weird piece. Dioptase. That's a weird piece. What a strange rock. 
That one is 250, 3597. It also stands up because it's cut on the bottom there. Okay. We're running out of rocks. No, I've got more rocks. I haven't shown yet. There's lots of rocks. Nicole, yeah. take it away. Righty, there's enough of you stuck around. Let's see what we got left. We got crazy ass to meteorite. Stuff that just came back from the cutter. Let's see, where are we gonna start here? This one. has been polished nice little sprays right up in the front face it's pretty high quality Nito Vito this is some good stuff really good stuff Every one of these Lamortiorites I'm about to show you is just stupid. It's so amazing. Very, very high quality material. 225. Polished, polished, polished. Thirty-six hundred was four forty-four. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Rock Creative four hundred for L three six zero zero. Tossing out a master number, are we? <laughs> it's all right. You got it. I'm assuming that's a claim since you put it out there and I accepted, so we're good. Anyways, this is a very nice demolitorite crystal. It's about a big. <clears throat> Thank you, Rock Creative. This one here is 350. <clears throat> Perfect, I got your claim, I got your claim. Here's a little cabochon thingy, free form. And that one is 200, 3589, 200. <clears throat> Man, this two, this back-to-back -back show thing is as hard. I'll tell you what. Got to remember that next time I'm like, yeah, we're going to do back-to-back -back shows. Here's a nice little scenic. It's got a little attachment thing going on. It was kept there for geometric stuff going on. Little sprays in the bottom. Holy Christmas, look at the little sprays and the very clear quartz. It's a very good. It is a very nice, and this one is a chip. It's a cheaper price. $140. Very good. All right, now we're getting into the heavy hitters. These are the ones that you will lose your sandwich over. 
Man, this is just too good. Hello, dog. What are you doing? It doesn't get much better than this, but there is a better one in the box. It's just bigger. It really doesn't get much better than this. Pretty crazy stuff. <laughs> the only reason why I want to be a millionaire is to buy your stock. Thanks, mate. Mac. Yes, we have some good stock. We've been doing this for a very long time. I have a problem because I like the good shit too. And it's an affliction. And just like most people, that we had to start. We had to start selling so we could keep some. It's like, damn it. Fucking rocks. It's like crack. <laughs> it's good for you crack it's not going to ruin you it's going to it's going to empower you and it's going to step you up to the next level of evolution yes yeah, so they're very good for that you know whereas crack just kills you <laughs> but it's very tempting oh man a good rock is hard to say no i swear i have a problem that's why we got in this mess in the first place because we got in so deep we're like damn it i have to have that rock oh i got to have that one too we might as well buy those 10 over there so we can afford this one you know how it is. Some of you. I know Alan knows how it is. All of you. Emily the same. You got to buy. You got to keep some. I hope you I hope you keep some. I'd love to keep. I have, I've kept so many good things. It's almost embarrassing. I'll have to show you one day. But you'll be like, sell me that. I'll be like, no, it's fine. Get off. Okay. 650 on that, man. This is fucking good. The last three. This is like shit. This is panty dropping shit right here. It, this is just ridiculous. It's crazy. Look, there's a mirror. You see the mirror? Look, there's a single ball floating in there and it's looking at itself in the mirror. Oh man, that's just ridiculous. What is going on with this fucking piece? This is so awesome. There's Demortiorite in quartz. It's super clear quartz. Look, it's this is Demortiorite narcissism right here. It's like, oh, I'm so beautiful. Ah, no, run away. Oh, but no, I want to see I'm so beautiful. Oh, run away. Oh, but look, I'm seeing myself. Look, I'm so beautiful. Oh, shut up. Close the door. All right, Rusty, quit playing with your rocks. You got you got rocks in your head. The high quality shows your favorite. Yay, we'll go win the lottery. No need to show me, but how much is a crystal shaped one? Oh, the, yeah. Just lake house gems, just wait. There's a, there's a crazy fucking one coming right now. But... The crystal one there, there's a crystal shaped one for 350. That's really nice. And here's the other crystal shaped one, which is also really nice. And there's a there's a smoker coming up next that Alan Palermo is going to buy. I know it. <laughs> Maybe we'll see. He may say, Man, it's too expensive. No, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. If I if I don't sell it, I'm gonna keep it. I'll sell it to China. The fucking Chinese love these things. Oh, my God. The Chinese are great. Okay, here. Yeah, this is the last good cabochon. This is some panty dropping shit right here. This is like, you got to be fucking kidding me, Rusty. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're killing me here. It's like, what? what's going on? This is like the top quality is the morning I ever seen. It's like, oh, man. This is so just crazy. Look, it's water clear quartz. The more you write all bedded on the bottom like that, it's just like, whoa, dude, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to get really excited is what you're going to do. You're going to like, hey, look at my Demordia, right? What do you got? <laughs> no, it's not a competition. Don't worry. Except in China, it is. They like to compete with the crazy. Oh, look at how rich I am. I got this crazy Demordia, right? They have, they it's got such a crazy love for included quartz now. It's just mind boggling um, with the quality of shit they got over there. It's like, oh my God, I can't wait to go back to Donghai one day. I hope I can go back to Donghai one day. Anyways, this is the craziest cabochon you'll, you'll probably ever see. Unless you looked at some of my, my videos from a long time ago. Yeah, it's, it's expensive. I'm not cheap with my good ones either. I'm not cheap with my good ones. Sure. But look, $1,000. I think that's a pretty good price, to be honest. You could definitely put 1800 on that thing. That's just a fucking smoking crystal. Okay, now this is the one. This is the, this is the, the true fucking, oh my God, what am I going to do with this? This is stupid. What location was your pop card? Mystic Stone 3703. 
uh, the, this, that was the um, BBNLV. This is from the original Messina mine from Shaft 5 from the 1980s when they found this. This is the red, white, and blue pocket from the 1980s. There's only 100 crystals or 150, maybe 200 crystals. Um, uh, that is... Uh, the Rock Creative is that one there. And it's 400, not 444. Okay. So, BBNL, the original Shaft 5. I don't know if this one's Shaft 5. Yes, I know. They sell Dumo super expensive in China. I'm going to probably sell these in China if I can't sell them in America, but I'm not in a hurry. They also have idiots there. They want to lowball it. Literally, I had someone, I had a pap, I had a Dumortier, I, I could show it to you. I've got one that's five figures. It's at least $15,000 rock. I had a Chinese guy offer me $100 for it. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Are you serious? And he was serious. I was like, you're offering me $100 for this. I turned down $15,000. He's like, oh, oh, but I'm a wholesaler. I need a very cheaper price. Uh, yeah, you go fuck yourself. You're not wholesaler, you stupid fuck. $100, fuck you. Okay, screenshot of 350. Yes, here you go. Screenshot, ready, set, go. This 350 one, I also have a post on my wall. On my, what you call it? Here, we'll give you the, if you want to do that. I'll give you $100 for your $15,000 rock. Okay, here you go. Get ready for your panty dropping. This has got two polished, three polished faces. One, two, uh, three. Three, three, four, three, that's it. There's only three. Three polished faces. And I wouldn't have had to polish it except they were fucking milky. Couldn't believe it. You couldn't see any of that. I was like, damn it, nature, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like this, you can't see it. It's like, oh, hello, look, I've got all this beautiful shit in there, but you can't see it. So what are you going to do? It's like, we're going to fucking polish you. That's what we're going to do. Come on, man. Nature's never perfect. 3595 Alan Palermo, you're definitely going to make money on that one, mate. I know. You, bought, you, you probably sold that other one for good money. You fucking... That, you did not hesitate. You did, that's great. That's a good rock. A beautiful rock. Thank you. But I know, you know, but this one, look at this. You're probably shitting your pants right now because when I got it back, I knew it was going to be good, but man, it's so good. I almost don't want to sell it, but I've got a better one that's not polished, so I can sell it. It's fine. Oh my god, I, 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 I don't want to sell it, but you'll sell it, it doesn't matter. Sixteen hundred dollars if you want it. Sixteen hundred. It's ridiculous. It's such a good rock. You could sell it to the Chinese for two thousand or twenty five hundred or something like that. If you don't, I will. <laughs> there you have it. Claim first demo on the paper. You mean this one, Emily? That one, th that one's for Emily there, 3595, tw 225. Please confirm, but I'm pretty sure that's it, 225. Yep. Yep, she got it. Thank you, Emily. Okay, now that we've gone crazy on to Mortarite, I can't believe this crystal. This is so, sh this is just retarded. It's so good. I love it. Oh, my God. Ah, it's the best quality shit. Look at this. Here, we got to, we got to just ogle this again. It's like, you got to be kidding me. I didn't really complain about nature not making it perfect. It's perfect in its own way, but I did have to polish it, so damn it. <laughs> no, it's fine. I have no problem polishing it. It's great. Look at it. Oh, my God. I should keep it. Is this a problem? We all have this affliction. Like, fuck, man. I want to keep the rock. I keep too many of them. You have to buy them so I don't go broke. It's like, it's like a bad habit. <laughs> okay. Okay. Next, what are we going to show you? Not all the ahoy is gone, the demortarite is gone. We showed you all this. We've got some expensive fluorite we could show you. You want to see some really nice fluorite? Like really, really nice ones. We've got some Illinois fluorites that are fucking awesome collector pieces. And then I've got some schmutz that I've already showed you before. Some of you, some of you don't have it. You're most, a lot of you are new, you haven't seen those. So let's do this and then we'll move on. We've got two more boxes of some specimen -y type of things, and then we'll move on to some of the flats that you've already seen, and then we'll be done. 
Okay, here we go. I've got to make some room on this because this page is, this is, these things are big. I'm just going to put these right back in the box. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, first we're going to do this one. These are all Illinois fluorites. Really interesting, cool ones. Here, yeah, we've got to zoom out. This one's like a strange double cube situation with all of these etched thingies going on. Elongated cubes. It's not a cube, it's flat. It's like a tabby cube. And, oh my God, look at this color. Holy crap, man. Holy crap, what is going on? Wow, amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, that one is $400. That's it. Fluorite's so expensive now. I think that's a good price. I don't even know. Maybe it's too much. No, it's 400 It's fine. Look at it. It's a big, fat piece. It fits in my hand like this. It's like, it takes up my whole hand. Anyway, it's $400. Yeah, 3842 And hey, what was that? And this was... What was that? There's this one. Okay, let's do... Uh, I was supposed to put it back in the box. Here's another one. Illinois. Look at the beautiful, beautiful colors. Color. And now it is time for the Illinois fluorite. Look at this weird crystal of growth here. Look at this crazy shit. It's got a little knob, like a, it's like a cave inside of a, like a temple or something, a pyramid. What is going on in there? It's like a little sarcophagus room or something. What a weirdo. It's got little phantom lines in there. This is like a castle. This thing is so, like a fortress. It's really weird. You can like walk up here and to do all this crazy shit. All these cubes growing in so many different ways. And that one's pink, pinkish. Anyways, this one is massive, palm size piece. We got 650 on that. Okay, next, the biggest one. Uh, this one's got to stand. Hello, Yogi. What are you doing? You come to kiss my elbow? Mm -hmm. Yes, I get kisses. Hello. It's got, what's it got? A little blue line on the top. You see the zoning there? No, of course, I don't mind showing anything again. There's your fluorite. Big fat fluorite. Awesome, crazy shit. That one is $1,200. I had a wholesaler offer me a 1000 for it. He was going to sell it for a lot more than that. It didn't work out. But I could easily sell it for a 1000 for it to, the, to a wholesaler who sells to retailers who then sell it twice. So there's two prices it can go up from a thousand. Okay, what was it? You wanted to see three, five, eight, nine, Ruby Jinx. Here we go. Take a screenshot if you need to. the back and the front is amazing it is in oh what a crazy piece oh my god so beautiful that 
one there, 35.89 for $200. $200. Hope you got what you needed there. Okay, next. Fluorite. This one. This one is coming out of the Ross Lilly collection, who was a famous, famous collector for the Illinois fluorite. Probably had the best fluorite collection there was. Look at this crazy shit. This is like a like a fort like a city from another universe. Okay, Ruby Jinx, I got you on that. Ruby Jinx. Two hundred? Yep. Look at this weird shit. It's like a little foreign city from another universe. See there's a little Ross Lily tag. Ross Lilly was the most famous collector of this stuff. This was a really nice piece. I got it like seven, seven or eight years ago, probably. I had $2,500 on it at shows for quite a bit. I lowered the price tonight. Significantly to $1,400. It's got a little city going on in there. That's a good one. Schmutz going on in there, some calcopyrite, all this crazy shit. Okay, 1400 on that. That concludes all of the purple ones. Now I've got two stupid raspberries that are mm. freaking amazing. This is just the craziest shit I've ever seen. Okay, so look. Cranberry. Oh my god, what is going on? You got to be joking me. Cranberry fluorite. So lovely. This one comes with a lucite plastic base. Let's see which one it is. Is it this one or is it this one? No, it's this one. It fits down there somehow, like that. Something like that. Pretty self-explanatory, pretty awesome shit. That one is $1,200. <clears throat> Last but definitely not least, this is my favorite. That's a cranberry. Wow. Look at this. Definitely. Look at that crazy shit. That is not <laughs> something you see every day in fluorite. Good structure. All kinds of cubic shit going on. And we'll look at this craziness. Mm -hmm. It does come with a base. The base goes like this. All right, that piece is twelve hundred fifty dollars, thirty eight forty. Super silly. 
That concludes all of the fluorites. They're very excited. What's next? Okay, there's a couple more random things. That last fluorite was 1250 bucks. Pretty awesome. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got seven more higher end type specimens. And then we're gonna move on to some what's left, which is a little bit of commercial stuff. Uh, or we could do some Moldavite again. For those who are new, most of the Moldavite is the same as what others have seen. What's going on, Yogi? Okay, what's going on here? This is smoky quartz with microcline and goethite. Look at this goethite growing on the smoky quartz. This is from Colorado, from my, my buddy's claim. Look at this crazy shit. What is the this weirdest stuff going on here? Goethite just stuck on top of the on top of the crystal. Secondary growth going on there with the goethite coming off of that. Microcline. Pretty awesome piece. It's very rustic. This was the old the last time I put this on display. There was my sticker. Mm. Put eight hundred dollars on it. But tonight, it can be yours. We motivated and go down to 555 for the very nice Colorado. Smoky Quartz is my savior. Nice. Okay. Here we go. Somebody had asked for an opal. This is the opal specimen that I was talking about. This has been sitting in this jar for a really long time. So we can show some of these colors. So this is from Virgin Valley in Nevada. American, North American opal is pretty rare. It shows a little bit of color. Where? Somewhere in there. Camera's not picking it up very good. Let me see if I can show this better. Yeah, you can see some opal color in there. It's got all kinds of floaties. I need to change out the water again. It's been quite a bit, but that's okay. It's protected. And what's going on? This was the show price I had on it for many years. And we're going to do 700 on that Virgin Valley Opal. Here's a palm-sized orange river cluster with hematite and limonite. This is a, it's a weird one. All this, all this growth in here is growing at a 90 degree angle, some of it to the quartz, which is really unusual. More stuff on the bottom. And Orange River Crystal is 75 bucks. It's pretty big. It's got nice stuff going on. 75 bucks. Here's a big fat dioptase with the, what's going on in here? This is shatakite and druzy quartz and dioptase all going on up in there. Pretty big piece. This is from Cockerveld.
Kind of looks like a heart. Yeah. Beer tea for one seventy five. Tea very cheap price. Sits up kind of nice like that. All right, I got two big Russian tourmalines. That's what we're gonna show next. Yellow, yellow and pink. Nice big tourmaline. Started and stopped and turned another direction here. It's kind of cool. I guess that's got a little bit of a cat's eye type effect in it. Which is basically just needles running through it, all really tight. Old show price was 1500 I marked it down to 11.11. And it's a big tourmaline. It's 100 and something grams. Eleven, eleven. You want to put it on the scale? That doesn't matter. If somebody wants to know the weight, I'll put it on the scale. Beep, 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 beep. All right, this is a fun rock. This is another mangano calcite, and they're really fun because they do the three colored thing. It's got pink, it's got red, it's got orange. That's, a, that's washed out, it's a little bit more pink than that. It's got some druzy on the top. And then this color with long wave and this color with short wave. Oh, there's more stuff, look at this. Look at that little blue thing. What, there's other minerals in there. Oh my God, there's other minerals that are reacting in there. That little blue light, that's crazy. I didn't even see that. And then, so there's other, that's probably something rare going on in there. I didn't even know. Rare. Since it's rare, what do you know? It's got that little blue light. It's like a little firefly. It's staring at you. It's like a light bulb. Look at that. Look at that shit. That's what I'm seeing with my eyes, too. That's so cool. That yellow and that blue. What? What? Anyways, UV people get ex all excited about that kind of stuff. They can identify that little blue thing, and it's like, that's this Drukadur mineral, and it's worth a billion dollars, because that's the biggest one ever. Anyways, this one is a pretty fun rock to mess around with your light. It's $300. $300 from the Kalahari manganese field. Here, yeah, we'll show you a little druzy. There's all these little black druzy thingies in there. There's that little yellow mineral. I don't know what it is. That's pretty cool. And then the, in there, there was that little blue thing. Anyways, $300 there. It's a fun, special rock. And we've got one more rock to show you. There's another yellow and pink Russian tourmaline. This is all stair-stepping termination stuff going on here. All of it's terminated. All of this, all of that, all the edge here.
And the old show price was a thousand. And tonight we are lowering the price to seven hundred dollars for the good deal. That's at least a hundred grams, maybe, of the skeleton. Okay, there's your mineral specimens for the night. And what else do I have? What's left? I've got some Labradorite and some wire-wrapped pendants of meteorite and some Japanese law twins and some sujolite beads, a little bit of citrine, some amethyst slices. There's some really nice uh, helolite there. Helolite calves are f fucking rare shit. All the rare shit, so let's keep going. Would you consider 130 for the cathedral from the earlier section if agreeable like to claim it? I think that one was 200, my friend. I think 130 is a little far. I had, the original price was 250 on that one. I will do, two, 130 is a little too low, but uh, I could probably take 160 on that one. That's my bottom. See, that was the first original. That was the price in Japan, twenty-eight thousand. The last pink. This was a tourmaline from Russia. So demonic frost. I got you a rebound on that for one sixty. And all right. Let's do it. 160 on the cathedral. Demonic frost. Thank you, sir. All right, I'm gonna put some of these back here. Can you see the papa? Yeah, I can show you the papa. Mm, papa. <clears throat> Russian praise quartz, I know you have some hidden. Absolutely, I do. I have some killers on my website. And I don't think they're all listed. I don't have anything in front of me. They're out of my warehouse. But if you send me a private message, Demonic Frost, and remind me, I will show you something tomorrow uh, when the warehouse is open. Oh, such a good rock, man. What a crazy rock. Okay. What else can I show you? I gotta move some shit out of the way here. All right, while we are on the subject of the crazy cab type stuff, Copper silicates, I've shown these before, but these are just stupid, absolutely ridiculous. This is Helolite in quartz. Shinix, I hope you're watching. You were really into these. She actually just bought one, so she probably doesn't want to see these. <laughs> but the one she got was really good too, so it's fine. This is These were mined in 2005, I believe, or at least that's the last time they were mined. Uh, it's been extinct for a while. About a year ago, I had a friend who was like, hey, I found a piece of rough, and we cut it all up, and most of it wasn't very good, and I had to buy it anyways. <laughs> but I got some good ones, and this shit is so amazing. It's crazy good for microphotography. It's got little acicular sprays. You can kind of see the sprays. My camera doesn't even zoom in enough and keep it in focus well enough to really see the sprays, but they're all little, circul little circles that radiate all over the place like this. You know, like they radiate. Hey, mamma mia, look at how good it is. These are not cheap. They're definitely extinct. They're super awesome. This quality is really hard to come by. 
uh, GIA made a post about it a couple months ago, and everybody went ape shit again for it. For it hasn't happened in a couple years. Anyway, so this one is four hundred bucks, and I could probably take three fifty. The citrines, uh, they're all about like this size. Hey, I already showed these. I showed you these, and you you gotta watch all my lives. This has already been shown. I'm showing you tonight. I didn't know. I didn't know you bought it online. Don't worry about it. We haven't. Did we already ship it? We can cancel it if you want one of these. I don't know. Up to you. They're probably more expensive. I don't even know. I can't. I don't even know what you bought. So just roll with it. It's okay. I'm not mean. It wasn't my fault. We were showing all the crazy shit tonight, so we're just going to keep showing crazy shit. Copper silicates unite. All those copper silicate junkies are fucking crazy. 370, we'll take 320 tonight on that one. Not 50 bucks off. If you've not ever had one of these and you want one, these are as good as it gets. Don't worry, there's only four. That one's 300. Take 250. And this one's a little bit bigger. And this one's more expensive. This one's 550. We'll take 500. But tonight, it is for you, for the 500, and it's very good. These Cartes are very special. Okay, there's your healer light. All of the craziest shit you've ever seen is all on one tray. And all on one table. All of that, all of that is just the craziest shit ever. And all of that is the craziest shit ever. It's like the best shit I've ever shown. All right. I'm doing my best to be nice. I can be really mean if I have to be. <laughs> Don't ask my wife about that. Because <laughs> that's cheating. <laughs> okay, we're going to show you some more shit and then we're going to be done. Suja light beads. Here you go. Ready, set, go. They're not strung into anything. Just on a piece of plastic. So you've got to do something with it. You can't even put it around your neck probably. But you got you can wear it. You can string it, you can put a clasp on it, you can throw it, you know, because it's a throwing stone, so you can throw it across the room. You can whip somebody with it that's not being good, you know, especially in there when they're sleeping because it's a good stone of dreams. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Don't do that. That would be mean. See, I told you I wasn't mean. Okay, $75 on that. $75 for this, for that, for this, for this. We have five more. Four more of this. This one is here. This one like this is very nice this one this is sujolite oh don't put it on your child and send it to bed no don't do that then then we won't be able to sell anything on etsy ever again sujolite this is very good very very good very 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 good it won't string up. Here we go. What are doing this? Come on, go. <clears throat> Suja light, Suja light, Suja light. See, like this. That one, seventy-five, thirty-three, twenty-two. Is there helite in quartz in crystal form? No, there's not. It's kind of like, uh, Covalite, which there actually is a few in Covalite, but the 
the the Gila light in quartz. I don't. I've never seen it in a terminated point. And the rough, it's like buried deep inside the rough in a seam, and you got to cut it out. That's a really inexpensive sujolite bead necklace. That's pretty awesome. Don't buy that one. <laughs> okay, last one. Last one, too, Jalon. I'm getting tired. I don't know what else to show you. I'm going to get cranky and turn off the camera. No, I'm just kidding. BBNLV3306. Which one's that? Oh, yes. 3306. Perfect. Thank you, darling. 320. Here, change the price. BBNLV320. Awesome. Thank you. You're going to love it. Back to the Sujolite. This is a lot of a lot of weight here with these rondelles. Got that. All right, I'm done with Sujolite beads. We're going to put them away. Okay, what's next? What else do we have to show you? Russian Tourmaline 700 again, please. Yes, of course. Can you get me the scale? Mm -hmm. Here's the Russian Tourmaline for 700. That's cheap. <laughs> Less than ten bucks a gram. That's 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 cheaper than I paid for it. That's less than I paid. I probably paid ten bucks a gram for it because I bought it in a big lot with a bunch of other ones. Okay, thank you, darling. What's next? We're gonna do citrines next. I believe somebody wanted some citrine. Hopefully, it's not somebody who was here yesterday. Yesterday was crazy. That was like a free-for-all. Okay, let's see what's next. <clears throat> we got a couple of these. Let's show these. Green barrels from Russia. Doubly terminated. That one's not doubly terminated. Singly terminated. And it's got a little bit of lines. Little lines in the middle. You can kind of see it little zoning lines in there kind of like the way the emeralds grow that's 65 dollars for a nice green barrel crystal here's another one That one is doubly terminated. Tabular. All right, citrines. We got seven of them. The Pranic 1358. Good score on that. Those are nice. 
Yep. Okay, citrine. Doubly terminated. Floating crystal with the sidecar. That's pretty nice. Good color. Make this one twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. <throat> These are citrines from Zambia. They are natural. There's no treatment whatsoever to it. A lot of them are facet grade. Awesome, amazing shit. Thirty-two seventy-nine. B pronic. Twenty dollars. Twenty. B pronic. As I throw the stone at Nicole, take care of it. Maybe that was the thing, what was that? I don't know. Very nice colored crystal here. Look, I'm yawning, must be getting late. 44 on that, make it to even 40, four zero. That's a really nice crystal. Sounds good, thank you, Emily. We're gonna make this one 15, one five. That's a raised record keeper. That one there, forty dollars. We'll make it thirty five. That's some good shit. Yeah, this one here should be cut. Man, carved or cut or something. That's just crazy. It's beautiful. It's got a big fat triangle right there. See it? It's a little, it's a little vague. A couple of little lines there. It's really neat. But the color, the inside color is just like, what is going on? Man, you could cut a big fat stone out of that. Beautiful. Look at how clear. Pretty awesome. We'll do uh we'll do forty-five on that. Alright, last one. Last one. You're getting sleepy. The crystal is telling Rusty to go to bed and turn off the camera. Mm -hmm. But you have to see how clear, how clear the crystal. Look at this, very clear. It has extra face, extra face going here. Look at this, oh my God, so clean. Amazing. 
That one's 30 bucks. We'll make it 25. Okay, everybody. I think I've I think I'm done. I'm going to play some music and we're going to call it a night. I hope you stick around. Listen to some good vibes, tunes. B Pronic, I see you. 3277. This is 25 for that. Thank you. For anybody that's still listening, if there's anything that you want to see one more time. Sorry, Otto. That one was just grabbed. But this one's so good. Look at how clean that is. Oh my god, we'll make it 40. 4-0. Four, zero. Four, zero. It's a good rock. If there's anything you want to see one more time, now is your chance. Because I'm going to turn off the camera after I play some music. Here, yeah, we're going to do this. Aho White. Suja Light with Aho White. Ah, oh, white beads, ah, oh, white pendants, ah, oh, white this and that, whatever. Uh, growth interference quartz. One more look at 3670. Which one's that? 3670, 3670. Here. 3670. Uh, problem with that. <laughs> Damn it. Problem when I'm holding my phone. I got to use one hand to hold the rock and two hands to hold the phone. I only got, only got two. I need three. So I can't, I got to put the phone down if I'm going to do all the fancy things. I like being hands-free. Both hands is good to operate the camera. That's there, $58. Yeah, we can do this. Purple tourmaline, purple blue tourmaline. Yeah, let's do those again here. This one was 120. This one was the biggest one. Oh man, I gotta use the. I gotta use this. Come on. Purple blue tourmaline from Namibia. It's the back side of that one. It's got a contact there. So that one is 120. And let's see, this one here, this one is 80. This one's really nice. I can use my light properly. That one's 80. 100 tumbled topaz uh the blue topaz sold it wasn't it was alluvial not necessarily tumbled but if that, i think that's the one you're talking about but that did sell the nigerian one uh that one's 100 Nice Russian tourmaline for 300. Double terminated. Here's another Russian tourmaline. This was marked at 1200. I put 900 on it. Nice tabular twin. Six twenty eight. Uh, get a nice 
this little roto here. That's the wrong tag for that. Uh, yeah, sure. Nicole, you grab Demonic Frost, the piece that he has. He wants to screenshot it. This is a snail made out of sphalerite from Colombia. Uh, we got that marked at 500. Um, here you go, Demonic Frost. Hopefully it's okay in the bag. Here, let me do it with the front. Is that good? Screenshot it, man. There's a delay, so I'm assuming you got it. If not, I'll do it for you. Okay, what's this? The Pedanera. Emily said she left. She would take it, but it's too expensive. She can't handle it. What else is going on? We got this little bird. We got tourmaline bird. That one is four fifty. Here's a red hot, super hot pink cobalt and calcite, which is marked two fifty. Nice Russian tourmaline. Nice termination. Old show price was twelve hundred. I got eight eighty-eight on it now. Uh, here's a crystal from the collection with a bunch of rutile and a bunch of oil. That's Brazilian from like fifteen years ago. And that's pretty much it. What else have we got here? We showed that. Demoriorite, crazy ass shit. Helolite, super crazy ass shit. Best helolite is, that's out there. It's right here. Look at this. If you didn't see that, that's a panty dropper. 3614 is where? 3614. 3614 is where? 36. What is 3614? <laughs> Tell me what it is. That'll help me find it. 3614. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 3614. 3614. Okay, sorry. Got it. This is 3614. This is polished. This was this is tourmaline. This was originally going to become a bead. Uh, the hole never got drilled, but still a really cool thing. Make a really nice pendant. Eventually, I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get a drill press so I can drill holes and stuff like that. But don't have a space for it right now. Okay. Here's some other stuff we saw tonight. There's some other stuff we saw tonight. Here's a few other things. Sujalite, amethyst slices, and there's that last thing. Here you go. All right. All right, 3670. Where's 3670? Got it. Sweet. Thank you, B product. Here you go. Price is correct. B product from that. This was a really nice piece. Crystallized rose quartz, two really big terminations going on in there with this crystallization wrapped around it. And that one was 650. Have a good night, be pranic, thank you. Stick around if you want to hear some good tunes. I don't know if you heard the end of the show last night. I'm going to probably switch gears now. Play a little bit of music. Wind down. Get you guys your invoices tomorrow. And yeah. Yeah.
thank you for all the good vibes, everybody. I'm glad you guys enjoyed yourself. Hope you got, hope you learned something tonight. Even if you didn't buy anything, that's all good. We're here to help you learn some stuff and show you some stuff you've never seen before. That's all part of it. Definitely enjoy doing that. This two shows in a row thing I, is definitely a challenge. We'll have to see how that goes in the future. Maybe we'll just install a Wednesday night show and Wednesday and Sunday or something and switch it up as we need. But this back-to-back -back show thing is probably not the most favorable for me at least because I get wiped out after the first one, especially if I don't sleep well, which happens every once in a while after these shows. You can't sleep very well. You get all amped, you guys, from the crazy rocks.
thank y'all for being here. And then a lot of you already gone, but those of y'all stuck around, I appreciate you sticking around, listening to some tunes. I hope that y'all have a great week. Wednesday night, probably gonna do another show, another 50% off show. <clears throat> y'all coming thanks for supporting us hope you have a great week we'll see you soon